<laughs> hey, Dad. It's me. <laughs> Jay, I know you missed me. Oh, I'm, I'm a little... I'm a little drunk right now. So I thought I'd give you a call. And kind of let you know what, what I've been up to. <sighs> Why do you hate me? I, I'm sorry, I... I didn't, I didn't mean that, I'm just, but like, you know, why, why do you hate me? I just feel like, I feel like you hate me. Why, why do you, you know, next time I see you, I'm gonna stab you in the chest like Gillian did, cause, I, cause you hate me. That's, <laughs> I'm your daughter, man, what the fuck? Okay, I love you, bye. To D, or not to D. This is the question I, Grizzly the DM, have come to ask. Welcome to Riptide, where it is nobler to suffer the mind with arrows of outrageous fortune that sling. And my patrons here with me, my brothers in arms, they speak. I, I guess I'm busy and I play chip. Oh, my forlorn love, I must fake my death oh my in God. ought to be with you. I shall drink this fake poison. This is just like Nomeo. Uh, oh my God. God. How tragic this is. Wait, did he even oh, do did he even? <laughs> 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 Ye yonder over yonder there be, but when will there be a yonder for me? What's up, guys? I'm Charlie Slimesicle, and I play Gillian Tidestrider. When we have shuffled off this mortal coil, the oppressor is wrong, and the proud man just rolls with it. Where we last left off, the three of you, Chip, Jay, and Gillian, captains of the Riptide Pirates. I got your shit stolen. After fending off Grungus the goldfish, one of the great goldfishes of the undersea. But, after showing your dominance with your lightning strikes and fire bolts, Captain Drake of the Jazz Pirates surrendered your stolen items to talk business to uh, attempt to sell you a magical alarm system that will prevent theft on your ship, hopefully, and a pair of bracelets that allow one of the wearers to read into the mind of another. Afterwards, you got to know Jazz, whose homeland is called Dalsenio, an island of music where Empress Malice is also from. And because Jazz spoke about seeking out the Empress, you shared the story of her demise. And while this got him down, he still decided to seek her resting place out. After this conversation, Jay attempted another grappling gun with Kai this time, while Gillian and Chip played around with the bracelets of mind reading, which led to an unfortunate accident of Gillian prematurely learning about Eden and her encounter with Raft. The lack of sarcasm in these thoughts and this discovery sent the two into a heated moment, ending in Gillian spending the rest of the day and the entire night alone, as Chip built an arena to restore their honor. As the morning came, Gillian called Eden, but hung up the moment she answered. After hours and hours of reflection through the night, the two came to an understanding, deciding to fight each other in the same vein as months in the past, but out of love and respect, rather than anger and disappointment. Jay joined in and absolutely wiped the floor with you two, and following this battle, the Jazz Pirates said their farewell as they headed to Allport and all of you headed to Seamart. And so, the journey continues. Uh, Jay's writing a letter right now on top deck or something. Where we yeah, play it's chess. Early, it's still about early in the morning. You have a little bit of ways uh, of sailing, uh, a few hours or so in the opposite direction of Isleport, heading to the Seamart. Hey guys, how long do you think I can hang upside down like this until I pass out? Two minutes. One, two, three, four. <laughs> 
That's all. That's all. He did it! Four minutes! Oh, good. I can't count that high. I really overestimated you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I've lost the motor function in my body. <laughs> I will never do that again. So, you guys begin sailing. Keep going until you reach your destination of the Sea Mart, which looks familiar to the first time you went with Clorton. Although I'm going to describe everything that happens this time rather than last time because now it's real. Okay, before you say anything, I want all of us to say how we picture it. Because I have been picturing it as like a G Mart or like oh a G Mod supermarket, just like <laughs> edited in, like just like there on the ocean, like a fucking Walmart. That's what I'm I so picture. sorry. You know, like the Quickie Mart from The Simpsons. I imagine kind of like that, except it's on like a giant buoyant tube. Oh yeah, yeah, I see it. I see it. Yeah. It's kind of funny, dude. So like, just like a 7-Eleven on like a fucking like inflatable flamingo. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's awesome. Well, originally it was it was a, a play on Kmart, so I just imagined my only experience in Kmart, where like the tile is all ripped up on the floor. I'm imagining like oh a, a Kmart just ripped out of the ground and put onto a bunch of floaties, and it's got a Little Caesars inside of it. <laughs> That's what okay. I imagine. Okay, uh, you got the closest, Bisley, only because of the Little Caesars. <laughs> it's a Little Caesars? Let's go! <laughs> yeah, it's Little C's, you know, because it's Seamart, so they have Little C's. Anyways, here's what you actually come up on, which is uh, recognizable, although this one is a little bit uh, different in hue. You come Whoa. up to this sort of Whoa. curved lighthouse-shaped building, this very, very tall lighthouse building with- the, Oh, the places will go type shit. The base of this building is uh, a docks that sort of circle around it in the shape of a helm of like the ship. And you see dangling off the very tip of this curved lighthouse is another wheel slash helm that is a miniature version of the base one uh, as you're sort of approaching with your ship and there are hooks like fishing hooks large massive fishing hooks hanging off the side uh, uh and they seem to just uh, shoot out and then pull ships up that are of a certain size while the bigger ships they just kind of attach to them and hold them in place almost like uh, uh water parking spots you also notice can we get yoinked well as you're coming up you see that there is a hook about lining up as you're you're sort of lining your ship up in the between the crevice of two of the docks and you see that there's a hook directly above it as well and uh, you would already know because you've been to a sea mart that this is how it works. Although the first time it was a bit uh, uh, worrisome. I think the first time we just let Clorton go there, right? Did we stop there? I don't know if we, we didn't stopped even there. go in. I don't think we saw. Yeah. I don't think we have seen this yet. Yeah. And I say that because I see the hook and scream. <laughs> <laughs> in that case, uh, if that's how you guys want to remember it. You start to pull up to this. It's a bit more, uh, it's a bit bigger than you expected. It's also powered by these large water wheels that sort of slowly move it forward in the sea, uh, which also slowly spins both the wheels at the very tip of this building and at the very base. Kind of like gears, but instead of gears, it's uh, helms, uh, pirate steering wheels for the ship. And you are lighting it up and you're coming in. And then as you start to come in, you hear yelled out from the very top, all right, the suit has the hook. Attaches to your ship. Make sure you all step out of the vehicle onto the dock and enjoy your time at Seamart. And when you're ready to leave, we will let your ship back down. What happens if we don't? Don't what? And you hear. Oh! And it's kind of like this, like casting sound, like a reel. Yeah. And it starts to come down and wrap around the center mast of your step of your out ship of the at the ship. top. I guess you'll just stay on the ship then. Well, how will we get off? We just get off the ship, like on the ladder, Gillian. Why would we do that? <laughs> go shut. Why did we come here? Why did we? What was? The... I don't know. I'm just playing into Gillian's thing. Okay. Is there any fights going on in the park? I just imagine this like a Florida Walmart parking lot. God, for some that's the perfect oh, thing. Oh my God! <laughs> holy shit! Is it actually? Is it just like someone just gets like shot in broad daylight? <laughs> No, it's nothing like that. It's not like a like a dangerous sort of vibe or, or, or hoodlum vibe or anything like that. It looks very well maintained, the building as well. Uh, there's a, it's very early morning, so there's no light, but you can see at the very tip of this building, it would be a, sort of a lighthouse and where there'd be a spinning light that would help. 
you know, travelers make their way to the Sea Mart or scragglers, people lost at sea. You only you, you only see one smaller boat that's hanging on the top uh, where your ship is presumably about to be uh, carried up if you... Well, I guess you don't have a choice because you just pulled into the sort of lot here. And then you see a much bigger ship that Jay, you would recognize it as a warship. A Navy one or just a warship generally? It looks uh, raft built, yeah. Oh. <laughs> So what anyways, are they going to do? This um, is neutral territory. This is about to be a Walmart <laughs> parking lot if it wasn't already, dude. <laughs> from from the docks at the base, you can sort of just get off, walk into the like first floor of this uh, Sea Mart. But if you're staying on the ship and letting it rise up to the very top, you can. It's just... Here, I'll meet up with you guys. Kill, just get oh. off. Okay, well, I'm going to go to the post office first. The bit's over. Yeah, you can see the second floor is a, a sort of a... Uh, there's like this... You know, Entrance a door with like a dolphin and an uh, overhead of the the door, um, and also there's a place for like grooming, uh, getting your your hair cut and stuff like that on the second floor as well. As, uh, and you'd assume that's where tailoring is. And then yeah. on the very like top floor, it just seems to be a, a very small sort of opening. I'll uh, I'll grab Ali and yeah. we'll we'll jump off and go into the store. Yeah, I'll be in in a second. I just want to check something out. All right, man. Okay, have fun. I jump off as well and uh, start heading towards the second level, I guess. You get pulled up all the way to the top with the albatross, Gillian, and now you're just dangling. You know those like rides at the uh, like like a fair or a boardwalk where it's the swings that yeah. are just they get risen they get risen up really high and then they just get swung around. <laughs> oh shit! That's what's kind of happening right now, except it's much slower, and it's um, just your ship. <laughs> On this big hook, like gargantuan hook. Yeah, okay. I, and you're I, very high up now. You're at the I very look, top yeah. of the lighthouse. I look down, and then um, how how far, like, is it? <laughs> to, to drop? Yeah, yeah. There's there's a there's a section up here where you can sort of uh, uh, dismount the ship and leap onto the very the very top floor. I want to try and like time it based on like the swing of it. I kind of just want to step off of it like. Uh, Kratos and God of War when he just falls off that cliff. <laughs> sure, sure. Like land on there, one. You guys would notice that the pathway that starts at the base of this building with all the docks, it does sort of spiral up and wrap around this building. Uh, and and the pathways which you walk up and to go inside of the different levels of the Sea Mart. Okay. So you just step off here at the very top level. It's just um it's the smallest section here. There's just a door. No, I wanna like I wanna like fall. <laughs> Down next to them, like I want to, like wait, 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 wait. You, like fall down, like all the way down to the bottom. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Like what? Let's, okay, that, let's swing. That, I want to like time it so I like fall down, like in front of them. No, no. <laughs> I mean, it is it is very very high up, so you you you'll probably uh, die. die or take a lot of damage. <laughs> oh, oh. Can, would, um, would you still like to do that? Can I aim for the water? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I feel like it's kind of anticlimactic when I step off this thing. You know what I mean? Like I came up here. So you want to do up. like a? You kind of want to do like a dive, like a high yeah, dive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to high dive it. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah, you can do that. Go ahead and roll uh, acrobatics. <laughs> He's gonna belly flop. <laughs> I got a thirteen. I got a thirteen. Oh, that could be worse. You can, you can safely pleasantly surprised. You can safely dive in without uh, taking much damage, and you're pretty okay. you're pretty good at this. Okay, cool. It's really fun. It's probably the highest you've div ever dived into the water off of. I get out of the water and I say, that was awesome. And then I go in and I uh, follow them. Okay. So, Jay, you're heading straight to the second floor. You're going in the first floor. Okay, yeah, I'm going to the post office. I follow her. I got. A, I, I wrote a letter. I just, like, follow behind you. Like, hands behind my back kind of lean forward. And I, like, put my head up next to yours. And I, we're just, like, as we're walking. What you got there? Letter. And I just like kind of poke back and put my head around the other side and I'm looking down at the letter. Is there a name on it? Can I see? There wouldn't be a name. What is that? What is it? What is it? It would say? just say mom. It'd be a letter to my mother. I May stop and you dead in my her. tracks. <laughs> and I look up. You're writing to the Navy? What? No. What? You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna snitch on us. You're gonna tell them we're coming. <laughs> what? No. That's what does that say? What does it, it say? Show uh, me you the look note. At it, you look at it and you get a glance and it says really bad pirates. <laughs> what? <laughs> Let me read it. Okay. I want to I wanna, like, go over and snatch it and pick it up and Jeez. start reading. Okay. 
Uh, it kind of just uh talks about. I don't have it written out, obviously. I just have cliff yeah, notes. Just, okay. Just talks about like the stuff we've done. I really go into detail about how we've been helping people. Uh, I, I get a little snarky. I'm like, you know, we're really bad pirates, but I like what we're doing out here, kind of thing. Uh, I talked about through how the I, note. I I like poke my eyes up <laughs> over the note and like look at you like when my eyes squinting. She looks a little sheepish. You're writing to the navy. Worse, her mommy. Give me that. Give me. I try to grab it back. Yeah. <laughs> hey, no, no. I need to make sure there's no treachery in this note. Why would there be? Ali, my monocle. I hold up my hand. This is kind of weird, shit. This is like his his per her, her personal letter, like to her her mother. Maybe you shouldn't be reading that. Trust issues. Yeah, yeah trust you're, issues. You're, I don't have monocles. Reaching a point where I'm okay, just but you like, can't I say really trust issues you. like like that's oh like okay <laughs> he's, he's really got sappy. trust issues. That's fine. Oh, just like, I don't know, improv. Just give me, like, something. Uh, he hands you a magnifying glass. I pick it up and I start, like, looking at it. And <laughs> and it looks all right to me. Yeah. I also couldn't read with the magnifying glass, but I trust it. Just a letter to my mother. Uh, as you guys all kind of step off, Gillian dives back into the ocean, comes up. Uh, your whole crew is sitting on the dock, so you start walking up to this building. And um, you, uh, Griffin goes, all right, so uh, what are we doing here? Well... I'm just restocking, uh... Yeah, we're gonna buy some shit. Sick. Sick. And you get to the front window now, and you see that there is a big sign that says, Lottery tickets inside. Uh-oh. <laughs> Eyes bulge, chin to the floor. We're no, gonna be even more rich. Chip, no, we've learned. Didn't we? We've been to a casino once before, and it didn't end well. Jay, we're rich, okay? And what do rich people do? They spend money to make money. And that's what we're going to do. <laughs> that's, that's not we're how gonna gambling We're going to play the works. lottery. No, it's not. It's not. It's not the lottery if we're counting cards. Do you even know what counting cards is? It's yes. Like you just Here. Get, yeah. uh, chip, chip, you get on the table. I'll be the, I'll do the counting. Okay. There's no table. How would you? What are you fucking talking about? Wait, what are you actually <laughs> saying? Saying we get all the lottery tickets and we and we count them. We get them all. <laughs> do you understand how the lottery works? <laughs> I don't need like, to understand stuff like this, Jay. We're rich. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, okay, but as a rich man, I need to be generous. Crew, huddle up. We have a total of... She, like, puts her fingers out. She's, like, doing... So, with the amount of money we overpaid to the Jasmine Pirates... By the way, you gave them way too much money. Ah, uh, details, details. Come on, uh, let's I, just, I let's just get to the numbers. <laughs> Uh, 113,000, give or take. 113,000 gold. That's surely enough to give and everybody. Of that. Let's say like 10,000 gold. 110,000 gold to. L -l -l Listen, <laughs> you're all a part of the crew. You're all valued. As a gesture, I'd like to give you all 10,000 gold. Spend it on whatever you want. Uh, I'm miserable and I'm suffering, and every day is a nightmare for me. Go get decked out. <laughs> I believe in you guys. <laughs> Riptide Pirates, break! Best day ever! More like Rich Tide Pirates, right? Yeah! <laughs> I hate it here. I walk away on that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so... Everybody can spend 10,000 gold, <laughs> including Ollie. Chip and Gillian, okay, most of you guys head into the sort of journal store area, and at this point now, I'm gonna ask you guys, like, what you're getting... Well, Charlie kind of already kind of hit the essentials of every single health potion in stock. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> just for you guys listening, Grizzly has this awesome, super in-depth list of all this cool stuff. So as you walk in here, it's sort of, you know, circular, matching the uh, uh, the shape of the, the, the building. And at the very sort of like center... In the middle of this in, of this interior, there is a, a circular counter where there's just one uh, sort of white scaled dragonborn with speckled uh, black dots uh, all over the the scales and they're wearing this sort of like I guess uh, like a like a well tailored suit and they're just like in the process of counting up some money yeah. and they're talking to what looks to be a captain of the navy of raft <laughs> oh shit I ducked behind the fucking counter who next to him is a smaller, shorter person in a not so well ornate uniform, just a, a kind of sort of standard raft uniform, who looks a bit familiar from the back. 
although the more important larger stature does not. You get in line to talk, ask about how many lottery tickets I there mean, are. I mean, no, if I see the officers, I'm going to duck behind the fucking counter and like, is Chip with me? Who's with me? I'll be with you. Jay probably <laughs> walked up yeah. to the post office first. Yeah, I went to the post office so first. So it's just Chip Gillian. I'll say Ollie's with you guys. As oh, he talks under a Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell him there's a raft boat here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get behind a... I'm going to get under a fucking table. I'm going to duck. I'm going to see them, and I'm going to full-on stealth auto-lock onto the nearest three-quarters I, cover. <laughs> I, I don't move. I just watch Gillian do all of that, and then I look up, I see them. And I, and I do the same thing. Press the circle button. Chip, make a perception <laughs> check. That's a that's a dirty, nasty, icky, Ooh. stinky twenty. Very very good roll. So no, the the captain, um, and you can kind of read captain on the back of the coat there. Uh, it's not, it's not a vice admiral. It's not the big fuzzy man. It's not Kuba Kenta. But you do recognize it's not the fuzz. The bright blonde <laughs> hair of Cedric, the small boy who was studying the last time you were at Navy HQ. That you tried to uh, coerce, <laughs> and he's sort of standing right next to him as they're speaking with this. Uh, I guess we'll call him the manager. But wait, Gillian, I know this guy. Yeah, I know them too. How do we take him? No, 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 no. That's. Uh, I think his name's Cedric. He was in that that base. It's great. We can we can use that. Well, hang on. Just stay here with Ollie. I have an idea. I crawl out from under the table and I want to like just walk over just to the side and as they're talking I want to just go right where maybe Cedric can see me but not the other guy and just okay. stand there like I get I get what you're saying you so you kind of walk into his view you're like messing with uh, I guess like a book or something that's sort of on mm -hmm. the counter and by the way in the interior here you can just think of any sort of 7-Eleven or gas okay. station or okay. like a Bucky's or like a quick stop you know, like oh the crazy God. fucking gas stations that you go to and it's yes. just decked out with everything. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much what you see in here. You can also smell like warm food and sweet treats as well. I'm getting some buffalo chicken rollers from the from the little thing. Okay, I didn't write that down, but you're right. What is a buffalo well, chicken roller? Because any gas roller? station has like those fucking rolling like taquitos oh! and like... I'm just like, dude, you're messing gonna with shit them. yourself while running from the navy, bro. Those <laughs> never, <laughs> those never oh, sit well. All I want to do is just like look at Cedric and just like stare and just wave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's uh sort of looking up at the the captain and then back at the you know a person who's working at the Dragonborn, looking back and forth. And then as he looks back at the the, the Dragonborn, he looks a little bit past him to you, and then his eyes go fucking wide. And then I'm he like, does that thing where he looks at you and then looks away. You know, the meme with the monkey who's like this? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what he does. Yeah. His eyes are so wide as he sees you. And then he just like averts his gaze and pretends you're not there. <laughs> Psst. Psst. Doing his absolute hardest not to, not to, uh, to react. He can't hear you because you're whispering. Cedric. <laughs> <laughs> you do that. And the... Uh, the captain who's speaking to the dragonborn stops speaking and then looks over. He's trying to drop roll stealth with disadvantage. You're like right there. Disadvantage? <laughs> He's like right there. He just crouched down in the middle of the store. <laughs> Dirty 20. Oh my god. The disadvantage. Whoa. Okay, yeah. you, you're swift enough. You vanish from sight. And uh, you hear, <laughs> you overhear. Ooh, what's wrong, Cedric? Are you getting all of this? Or is there something bothering you? You look a little shooken up. Are you all right? Like slowly rise up again. <laughs> <laughs> Cedric's eyes are wise, are so wide. Yeah, all good. And then they start going back and forth, uh, and you overhear the captain speaking about buying information. Gillian, what are you doing? Um, playing patty cake, I probably with Ollie. <laughs> That's so fucking cool. awesome. And I'd like to make maybe contested dexterity checks to like see what our longest string is so far. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure, sure. And who messed it up? Yeah, dude, it's dev. I'm gonna fuck it up, but I gotta try, man. Ollie rolled a three. I keep fucking up. Oh, he rolled a. I rolled a fifteen. You like teaching him a patty cake from the undersea? He just can't get it. This is actually hype. Involves like doing a dolphin, like you're like, yeah, yeah. He doesn't yeah. know. He doesn't know the nuances yet. Uh, yeah. We we do we do yeah we do 
uh, uh, forward, what is it? Forward, clap, back, clap, forward, back, clap, shrimp. And he keeps getting cut up on shrimp. <laughs> you roll a natural 20, roll again. I rolled an eight. Fuck. He, he, he gets me so good, he hits me with both. I he slaps me in the face, I fall out in clear view. <laughs> 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 okay. It definitely gets the attention of- The uh, student best, the master. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, drag me back in, quick, drag me back in. <laughs> okay, so he like starts to run up, he like grabs your legs, he starts to drag you away. But I at make, this moment- I make full eye contact with Cedric as he just sees <laughs> this fucking fish man come on, hit the ground with a big thunk, look him it's dead such... in the eyes, eyes wide, and then get dragged with a loud metal sound back behind the counter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I, I roll for it. This definitely grabs the attention of both the dragonborn and the captain as they look back and watch you get dragged. I turn to Ollie and I say, I think they saw you. <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh. I have an idea. I'd like to create a distraction. I want to disguise myself as an old woman. Um, <laughs> and just like, and just oh, be geez. like, it's always an old person. Oh my God. <laughs> trembling, trying to reach up at something. And I'm like, oh dear. Excuse me, strapping young Sidra. I mean, boy, I don't know. Um, You look like a strong Kid, would you like to help me, a poor old woman, get this off the shelf? I wink. <laughs> you wink and half your face changes back then. <laughs> <laughs> Haunting visual. It's horrifying, but yes, man. it has to. Now. The captain looks down. All right, so I think we're done here. Uh, hey, Seth, how about you go and uh, help that old lady here while I... Uh, Inspect on this interesting debacle behind these uh, aisles here. <laughs> Ollie, Ollie, I still gotta grab those lottery tickets. I'm gonna need you to get this guy's attention, okay? I'm gonna sneak in, get as many as I can. Cedric goes, yes, Captain. And then begins to walk towards you, Chip, the old lady. And then, okay, so... <laughs> Don't what? mind my grandson under the table. <laughs> <laughs> the He's a sweet boy, just rambunctious. Captain is ignoring you. So, Gillian, what were you doing as you oh, started I, to hear the I footsteps asked, walk around the corner? I asked Ollie to make a distraction for me so I could slip around and get buy some lottery tickets for us so we could get out of here. I'll just roll to see if he makes a good distraction. Okay. I don't know what he does. All right, I'm rolling. Oh, should I drop the dice? He should have advantage because I called out my grandson. Ollie, listen, sure, Ollie, sure, sure, Ollie sure. do anything. You just, you just can't pretend you're also a grandma or it's going to give it away. <laughs> <laughs> so he rolled a 12. He like runs and ducks under the legs of this captain as he comes around and says, Grandma, Grandma, I, uh, um, I'm going to buy lottery tickets. No, my boy, you <laughs> must go to school and earn your money. Is the captain still coming? He like, he like watches this kid run under him. Yeah. And then uh, that gives you a chance if you're going to make a move because he's, he's, he, he, he's standing okay, right okay, in front so of he's you. Not, he's not distracted by he's that. He's not looking at you. Okay. No, I right. mean, he got, he's slightly distracted. You have a chance to move in this moment. Okay. I'm going to say, looks like a good opportunity to use a new trick. And I'm going to pull the moisture out of the air around me and cast Minor Illusion to make myself look like a rock. <laughs> <laughs> okay, easy enough. You make yourself look like the rock. What is the... Not the rock! No, not Dwayne the rock! <laughs> Dwayne? No, you make I will yourself say, look like Dwayne no, Johnson. If he comes around the corner and Dwayne fucking pops out, <laughs> you fucking run, dude. Yeah, Dwayne like, just does like comes off the brow thing. Oh my god. I'm not Black Adam. I can't do anything about okay, Black okay, Adam. Okay, okay, okay. Based on how I roll, I will either be, I will, I'll be Dwayne the Rock Johnson or an actual rock. Uh, no, no, no. I was wondering if what they have to roll something, I think, to see through the illusion. Oh, okay. So let's see. Um, if they're suspicious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if they're suspicious of this five-foot rock. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, no, no, no. I, I'm like curled up. I'm like lying down. So it just looks like a kind of wide rock. Um, there are no rocks in this If the creature <laughs> uses an action to examine the sound or image, it must use a successful intelligence investigation check against your spell save, DC. Okay. So that's what it has to do. It has to make an investigation check. So you successfully become the rock one. But not the rock, just a rock. <laughs> okay, look at the camera. And uh, the captain sort of walks up slowly, looks at all the, uh, the different like jerky items on the shelves here, looks down at the rock. <laughs> Raises the eyebrow. Oh God, he's raising the eyebrow. I start sweating. Hey, Salt, uh, you know you have a rock in your store. I want a, I want a minor illusion of price tag, he, like on it, <laughs> like, so it looks like it's part of the store. Okay, he rolled a 15. My DC is 16. 
and I make the rock too expensive for him to buy. He kneels <laughs> down. Are you really selling this rock here? I. It's my special rock. As Ollie runs to the <clears throat> the the counter, and he's like 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 saying something, whispering to the uh, person who's working. You get the sense that Ollie is uh, saying something like, "Just go with it, please. Come on, we're gonna buy all the lottery tickets. Please, come on." <laughs> so he goes, "Hey." It's my special rock. Stands back up. Super tall. Very lanky. Yeah. As soon, when he leans into the, to the rock, um, uh, he just hears a, a whisper. The single most powerful thing I can be is meant to be myself. And that's a that's a Dwayne the Rock Johnson motivational quote, by the way. <laughs> so he feels very go. inspired. So this captain, he has sort of um, golden blonde hair. Yeah. Uh, uh, right. Similar to Cedric, and he has like the musketeer sort of pointy mustache, but nothing on the size of the face, and a little bit of a goatee as well. Mm-hmm. He's got a slender uh, face, and he just sort of uh, uh, smirks, squints his eyes, raises the eyebrow, stands back up. Well, all right. Uh, I said, are you finished with that old lady there? How can oh, I help my, you, old um, boy? Get, what the get fuck I, is up, dude? You like shake your voice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, just that up on the shelf. How are you doing, man? I, I'm fine. What are you doing here? I'm same thing you're doing, man. I'm just buying shit. Okay, we're not just buying shit. I can't even talk to you. You're a pirate. You can't. Oh, just no, not that one. No, grab that that up there. Don't get and don't get any ideas, Sonny. I'm spoken for. <laughs> he pulls down <laughs> like a big a big jar of peanut butter. Right here. Ooh, that's very good. What the fuck are you here for then? What? I mean, just he's. I'm being mentored I, uh, because I graduated. Mentored? Yes. Whoa, you graduated! Congrats, man. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm going through a lot of training right now. And that must part be of, tough. I mean, it is. I get my, you know, I get my my buttocks handed to me frequently. You can say ass. It's okay. I can't. Yes, you can. No, I won't swear. Just say it. Say it. Ass. I won't. Why not? I don't want to. That's just, I feel like you do, and you're just like creating limits for yourself that you don't need to. No, no, I, 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 want, I speak. I will speak proper. Okay, okay, you will speak proper. That's fine. Whatever. Uh, what, what? You're being mentored by this guy? Yeah, I. I mean, then he kind of seems like a fucking dick. I mean, he's nicer than a lot of the other captains. They're, they're all dicks, right? This is probably the best mentor I could have got. We're not all bad. Okay, yeah, yeah, I mean, you're pretty chill, but that guy sucks. You don't know him. No, I don't. I just like, it's like a vibe thing. It's like an aura. I have to go. I can, I, no, don't go. Hey, I'm listen. going. Goodbye. <sighs> he turns oh, around. Oh, I'm falling. <laughs> oh. Yes, sir, Captain, she's fine. Ah, help. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Ollie runs over. Oh, no, Grandma. No, I can't. Oh. Oh, Oh, to help you up. will you get that strapping young boy to help me up? Go fucking tug on him. <laughs> um, okay. So he just like walks over and, uh... <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, I don't appreciate I'm... that you pushed my grandma down and then he like pulls on him, danger. but he pulls like the top half of his like clothing off and just <laughs> rips. And now he's just a shirtless boy in this in this convenience store. Oh, wow. Oh, because he no. rolled a natural 20. And ripped the clothes off when he tried to tug on them because he's too strong. My poor old <laughs> eyes. Oh. It's okay. I'm here to help. <laughs> <laughs> Dwayne the Rock Johnson. What are you doing here? <laughs> <Shazam>. <laughs> this is gonna get pretty intense. Anyway, so Jay, you walk up the steps, you go into the the entrance, um, and you see that there is just. Another one of those uh, older Arakakra uh, mm. ladies at the at the that's sort of at the counter. Uh, although this one doesn't look quite as disheveled as Betty. He goes Betty, remember Betty? Ooh, welcome in. Oh, she sounds older though. Are you here to drop off? Oh, yeah, no, I just want package. to uh, have this this letter sent off to my mother. 
um, off on Featherbrook Island, uh, Mayfarin. So as you walk in and you start to present this, you also know that Alphonse and Griffin are headed up to the floor above you. Not quite the floor above you, but just a little bit up to go to like the tailoring and, and grooming section. I mm-hmm. guess they also have Dre with them. And uh, hope- she looks at you, she takes a letter. Featherbrook Island, quite a bit away. Yeah, no, I've come a, come a long way. You know how it is <laughs> uh, being on the sea. I mean, you're at sea, Mart. You know, surely, I mean, this place just drifts. She looks at the, <laughs> the letter for a second before putting it away, and she goes, And I assume you're Jay Farron on the top right here that you're written? Uh, yes, I am, yeah. I have a letter for you. Oh, that's great. What? I have a letter. See? rather important let me grab it oh, was supposed no. to start starting to walk away was supposed to be sent off tonight but i guess since you're here wait did somebody just drop it off today uh she walks away for a second you ask that and you hear like a eh, like a dolphin noise basically hands it to you know rolls it up puts it in like mm-hmm. a little dolphin carrier who's gonna take it to featherbrook she comes back with an envelope and it looks like it's uh, a bit rounded, as it is, as if it has something inside of it. And the seal is um, very recognizable. It's the of symbol it's... of of raft. Yeah. And she hands it to you and says, "No, not not dropped off today. Uh, uh, just uh, this is a stop as it's getting carried. You know, the dolphins have to rest, so it made its way here." <laughs> yeah, of course. Supposed just... to find you tomorrow, but you made it here. Bye, Kawinky Dink. <laughs> yeah. Hands it to you. Lucky timing, I guess. I looked down at it. Yeah. So, wait, you said it, is it more circular than like. Rectangular? It's kind of like uh, a, in the same vein as like when you get an envelope that is um, like the bubble wrap envelopes, <laughs> the more beige ones. Yeah. And it has something inside of it for sure. Sort of like a okay. small package. Yeah, I'm gonna turn my back to this lady and like slowly kind of rip my finger through the, the package. Okay, so you just open it up, look inside. She uh, seems see a little like nervous. Maybe not nervous. Um understandable. Yeah. About about this. There's a card, like a letter card, mm-hmm. and next to it is uh a conch shell. Up to you if you read it an hour later. Uh, I'm going to read it now. Okay, so you just take it out and look at the card. It says, This conch shell is attuned to only one other. It will connect as soon as you use it, and it will destruct when you are finished. Do make haste to make contact. Signed, Admiral Farron. The nervousness turns into panic. <laughs> Start to feel your heart beat in your chest. Yeah, as she tucks it away into her, <laughs> into her pouch. Shit. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, I should find uh, Chip and Gil. Okay. What are you gonna say? <laughs> All right. Um. The lady goes. Okay. See you later. And you come in. And you walk in, as soon as you walk in, you see this 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 event happen where uh, Cedric, very recognizable to you, gets his top kind of ripped off <laughs> by Ollie, who's behind him, stops the captain in his tracks, who was just walking out the door, and sees you, but then looks back and sees Ollie holding this tattered top <laughs> with Cedric now standing there, like a board, and an old an old woman in the on the floor in the background. As well as Dwayne The Rock Johnson, right? <laughs> Dwayne The Rock Johnson helping. But I don't think I can actually... I don't know if I can do that with Minor Illusion. So I think it's Gillian and also Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like it's like Gillian with like this after image uh, sort of like cloak of, Gil- of The Rock. Yeah, yeah. I'm like wearing The Rock. It's like a, it's like a rock, an Arthur Genasi, who's just like a stone golem. It looks like The Rock. Uh, Jay, Jay is like sort of... She's still kind of panicking. And then she looks in and sees... The situation unfolding before her and her mouth is just a gape right now with general confusion. She hasn't even noticed the tall man in front of him from Raft. <laughs> I'd like I'd like to take a moment to just assess like <laughs> in between moaning. 
<laughs> assess like this this up. raft <laughs> captain and see if he's if he's if he thinks we're sussy. The time for sneaking and sussy is over as Jay walks in the door, Ollie rips off Cedric's top, and Gillian basically just walks up <laughs> well, and I now the, has... I thought, the, I thought there was an old lady in danger. So oh, you, you're my kid. You can be my kid. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, can be well, my that, was, that, was why I just, that was why I came out, was I heard an old lady hit the floor and I went to go help her up. He, you get the sense that the captain now has his attention both on Ollie and then sort of turns his head back to see Jay walk through the door. Yeah. Jay stands there and her eyes slowly kind of like trail up to meet the eyes of the captain that is standing in front of her. Yeah, he goes, wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Quite the lucky circumstance for me to run into you here. Oh, shit. Why is that? <laughs> By chance. Who are you? He's got like a soft smirk. I'm uh, Captain Monsoon of, uh, of, the, of Raft. And uh, you're wanted. Alive. So the posters say. Guess that makes you pretty damn special, huh? So they do. You'd you don't know, do you? No wish. You're gonna blow my cover. Is that what you whisper? Yeah. <laughs> I. Uh... Okay. Uh. Fuck, dude. You should probably make a deception check. <laughs> yeah. Instead of persuasion. Can I pull out? Can I pull out the note that I got from uh, my grandma to support it? Uh, yeah. You can pull out even the envelope with just the seal itself is kind of enough. I flash to roll it, with yeah. advantage. You sort of like pull it out from underneath the jacket. Um, not amazing. Twelve. So he looks at you. He sees the note. He hears your whisper. <sighs> Jay looks like super serious. So there's like a little bead of sweat down her forehead though, right now. Wow, wow, wow. So, uh, guess you're just some pirates making a stop. I see. He looks back at uh, Dwayne and the old woman, but then he looks at Ollie. He's like. Say there, son, uh, you're pretty strong. You ever think about, uh, you know, joining the... Don't talk to my grandson that way! Dwayne levitates off the ground and just floats over <laughs> to him. <laughs> Jay's hand instinctually just goes to her fucking head. <laughs> Come here! Uh, 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 Ollie, shit! <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here! Now wait, before, now wait. Before the bad men draft you into the military and take you from me. <laughs> Cedric, you, uh, you're doing all right there, pal. You got your, uh, what would you like to do about this, uh, accident? Stiff as a board, he goes, it's fine. Let's just, um, uh, this has been very informative and I'm, I'm all right with going now. If that's. Good, Captain. Yeah, I think that's all right. Uh, well, I'll, uh... Pulls out a cone shell. It's like Navy issued. It's white. <laughs> kind of pearlescent white. Let me just call this in real quick. You can't do that. I need to call it in, okay? We can't have Navy crawling around here. If they catch on to me, it's fucking over. They're killing me. They're fucking bloodthirsty. <laughs> Gillian's like <laughs> looking around the room, just like super confused as to what's happening. You wouldn't believe it, but these guys are at the center of everything. Uh, you'd have to be pretty close for this. <laughs> and I'll just say that because your crew already knows, you don't uh -huh. have to roll like stealth performance or anything like that. Yeah. To no. make sure, to make it not obvious that you're talking really quietly to this guy in front of your crew. Um, but I will say that you probably get the sense that he notices. And he just whispers back. It's all right. I'm not actually playing. I'm I'm not actually making a call. I'm just playing along. All right, Sid. Let's, uh, let's keep on with our duties for today. Well, you all have a fine day. And you don't have a fine day. I'll see you again soon, Salt. He sort of shouts out at the 
the manager, which goes, hey, walks out with Cedric, who Ollie just like sheepishly hands his tattered I, <laughs> top of the so uniform. Before back. he walks out, I, I should have said this like as he was saying it, but could I insight check what he said? Which part? Um, that he was just playing along and that he you wasn't. You can roll make insight. Ooh, 20. 30. Guys, definitely except for Condi. Okay. <laughs> you can tell that he doesn't really quite believe that you're undercover. But he believes that you have a real letter from the top admiral. He was serious about not actually calling anything in. You also get the sense that he recognizes your face, not just from your wanted posters, but from your family. Just looking at you with a sense of familiarity and comfortableness. <laughs> not very intimidated, not very shocked. In fact, with the inside, you kind of get the sense that this whole situation, he's very curious about. And most of his focus really just seems to be on Cedric. Okay. And that's all you get. So he begins to walk out. Cedric starts to follow. Oh, he stops at the door as it's ding ding, just sort of like the the bell at the, at the mm-hmm. door rings, and he stops as it's midway, and he just looks back and he goes, "Hey, uh, word of advice if you're heading back to uh, Allport. I mean, you guys have, uh, well, you and your whoever else you're with are uh, making quite the the name for yourselves as enemies of the government. So just." Uh, he winks at you. Be careful while you're there. They're still rebuilding that hole. Thanks for the advice. Oh, hang on one sec. The small boy you keep on your ship has a little, uh, a little tear in him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run up and I want to, uh, I want to cast mending on his shirt so that. I okay, like, like his, just stitch it back, back up, up magically. Yeah. You know what, dude? Mending doesn't. Mending takes way too long, but I'll just let you do it. Here, let me stand here with a hand on him for a minute. <laughs> Cedric, is, his eyes are wide. He's like sweating. You hand it back. He puts it on. Thanks. And then they just head out. But before that crazy thing happens, today's episode is sponsored by Honey, the easy way to save when shopping on your iPhone or computer. I'm in the middle of a move right now, and so I'm online shopping more than ever before. And I'm doing it all the time. I'm always looking at things online, and I'm always wishing that I just had some kind of promo code ready to go at checkout. Well, thanks to Honey, manually searching for any of those codes is a thing of the past. Honey is the free shopping tool that scours the internet for those codes and applies the best one it can to your cart. Imagine you're shopping for like your hundredth set of funny math rocks. When you check out, the Honey button appears and all you have to do is click apply coupons. Wait a couple seconds, and if Honey finds a working coupon, you'll watch those prices drop right away. And hey, with Christmas right around the corner, now's a really, really good time to get honey. You're going to give them this cool, expensive gift. They're going to say, how did you afford this? And you're going to say, this gift is sponsored by Honey, the easy way to save when shopping on your iPhone or computer. Thanks. Honey Honey doesn't just work on the desktop. It works on your iPhone, too. Just activate it on Safari and save on the go. If you don't have Honey, you're straight up missing out, man. And by getting it, you're doing yourself a solid, especially for this holiday season, and supporting this wonderful, wonderful show. Get Honey for free today, or we will summon bees on your location. That's joinhoney.com slash J-R-W-I to get it for free and no bees. That's joinhoney.com slash J-R-W-I. Go there now, or they're coming. I can't recommend Honey enough. It makes no sense not to be using it in this day and age. So get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash J-R-W-I. That's joinhoney.com slash J-R-W-I. Who are you, and how'd you get onto our ship? Ah! So, I heard you're buying all my lottery tickets. You well, you guys said what now? Well, hang, hang on, hang on one second. <laughs> I think you owe me one. What did you do? Uh, I got him to play along with the, the rock. Yeah, I guess that was but pretty But I, I cool. told him I promised that we were going to buy all the tickets. Oh, well, we got to buy all the tickets now. We'll take them all. I walk up as the grandma. Yep, I'll stand by that. Talking completely <laughs> normally. <laughs> Wow, Grammy Ma, your voice sounds wonderful today. I just look at Gillian in the face. Think really hard about this, Gillian. <laughs> Think <laughs> really hard. All right, so we've got about uh, 50 of the 10 gold scratch-offs. 
And as far as the uh, 50 gold buy-in for the big jackpot of the uh, entire oversea, you can buy in as many as you'd like. The what? more you buy in, the uh, better your chances. What do you think, Shay? W- w- the entire oversea? <laughs> like, we'll get I... the oversea if we win? No. Not the entire oversea. You don't win that, you just win the money, the jackpot. How, how, much, is is this, the how jackpot? much is the jackpot? Uh, where is this here? It's going to be the entire Black Rose Pirates treasure that was found. Uh, wait, Holy what? shit! Wait, where's where's Chip? I look at Gillian. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spell this out for you. I need you to figure it out on your own. Spell what out for me, Grandma? I li- we gotta get you back to bed after this. But where is Chip? A million gold. A trillion gold? Wait, no, you can't just give that away. That's a their treasure. Wait, where gold. did they even get that treasure? Well, it's not the ownership anymore since the, uh, you know, uh, they're all dead and, uh... Well, what if they're not dead? Well, Wait, the a captain's Grandma, gone. Grandma, how much do you know? I just keep, like, looking at him, <laughs> like, <laughs> even more pissed off. Well, once a pilot lord or just a captain in general passes on you know, all their property, their islands, their gold, it's up for free grabs, whoever finds it. Well, it wouldn't go up to, to like, the crew or anything? Mm, not that I'm aware of. And who runs this whole, like, lottery thing? Like, who's in charge of that? Is that you? Ooh. No. That's half an answer. Well, okay, if somebody wins the lottery, like, let's say I won the lottery, who do oh, you... Oh, yeah, head to, uh, you go to Old Port. Claim your prize. Is it Raft HQ? <laughs> do we have is to it, go to Raft? Is it a military-funded lottery? No, no, definitely not. Oh, good. But the military <laughs> is bo- boyed in. How much, well, do, they, how much do they use? How much do they spend? Yeah, how much? I, uh... uh... Unless you want to buy that information, I can't uh, give what? it for free. I'll give you ten gold. I can't give it for free. Ten hmm. gold. Not enough. What, dude? For his information, you want to know how much they've bought in? Uh, okay, well, guys, we've only if we got buy in twenty with, gold to our about, names. We just want to know. We buy in with all of our money. You've only got twenty gold to your name, and you want to buy all the lottery tickets. Well, unfortunately, I don't think it'll get very far. You see, we're we're working for some very rich and handsome pirates who have a lot of money, but us right now, we're just trying to get a little information on it, make sure that we're doing that. Is this not working, guys? Yeah, no, we, we're rich as fuck. I'm sorry, I lied to your face. I'm also I snap and I'm chip again. No, we're not. He's lying to you. He's lying to you. Uh, where? I'll give you the information for dead. sixty gold. How about that? Sixty gold, forty, fifty. 50. 55, <laughs> take it or leave it. 50? Gilly, or that's I not how walk. Works. <laughs> All right, then walk. Information isn't free. Okay. Enough. I'm going. This is government information. You think we just give it out? And you could give it away for 50 gold. 50 gold to buy you a lot. 51 gold. We'll do it for 60. Just do it. Just do it. 60 <laughs> okay. gold. I okay. like that one. All right, 60 yeah. gold. No, 50, 51. You said it. <laughs> 61. Down, down, <laughs> not up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So, you hand over 52 gold. I mean, 51 gold. And sure. he goes, all right. So, currently, they've bought about 500 tickets. How much, How is much a are they each? 50. About 500. So, that's about that's a 25,000 gold investment. I mean, we are going to spend 20. Five thousand and one gold. That's not That's how that all, works, sir. I mean, and fifty gold. Hey, Twenty-five thousand yeah. and fifty I pull, I pull, gold. I pulled ship aside. I mean, this is everything that used to be on that ship. So much of yourself. Are you sure you just want to do one more gold than the navy is on this? Hey, what are you guys talking about? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Um, yeah, you're right. We should go all in. Do you think? I mean, we'll take two thousand tickets. Oh, right. Big Do you know spenders. what you're saying right now, Chip? I know exactly tickets. what I'm talking about. We're, we gotta spend money to make money. Chip, we have... You gave 10,000 
to each of our crew members. 100. We don't even have that money. <laughs> Shit. Uh, Fun. Wait. Scratch 10,000. How much do we have left? Um, how many crew members do we have? Um, uh, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. 1,000 tickets! <laughs> She's crying. 1,000. Skip 1,000. <laughs> Their tears are out. That's eyes. double what the Navy spent. You want to you spend 50,000 gold on a thousand lottery tickets? Jesus. How <laughs> does the lottery look, work in, in D&D &D rules? Kind of, the same, kind of the same way here. You pick a few different numbers. <laughs> and, if the numbers <laughs> and if the numbers match the numbers that are rolled on the day of the lottery, then you win. Look, my whole thing is destiny, right? There's got to be, yeah. there's got to be some way that we can make it our destiny to get this fortune of your past crew. There's a lot of, well, it's, no, it's okay, not luck, Jay. It's not luck. It's, it's a strategy. Luck. We've got it. We've got it. It's, it's so highly improbable. It's well, like it's... one in one million and buying a thousand maybe <laughs> makes that like one in 100,000. Hey, hey, like hey, 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 where is these? Semantics. This law three. It's ran by an agent, the dragon of the world. You know, dragons, they can always find treasure, but it's only once every 10 years. So buy in now. I mean, that's pretty convincing, guys. Sir, the you dragon. gotta understand. You gotta understand, sir. We're $110,000 in, I mean, gold and debt. Pirates don't have debt, do they? No. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I would say yes, but we pay taxes, apparently. So yeah, we've already paid them all, so we got nothing to worry about. We borrowed. Up. Where did we, you pay we, those? And we've you just borrowed money from the, the same person. You we just throw yeah, throw the money in the water, pay to the ocean. Pay taxes to pirates so, that work for the government. I don't understand. No, no, this it's is, the ocean tax. It goes to the. It doesn't go to the man. It goes to the ocean. The hoo ha. Man. The hoo ha. The what? The ocean tax to pay the ocean. Never heard of it. Well, you're gonna hear of it soon. You're fucking dead. <laughs> I've been sailing for 50 or so years now as, uh, as this uh, captain of the Seamart, Captain Salt Sea Sunning. And I've never had to pay taxes to sail on it. You ever heard of Grungus? Grungus. Never. Well, Grungus is coming for you. Who's feeling the luckiest, Jay or Chip? I have been one string of bad luck after another. You Surely just been, there's you've some been good. storing it up. You've been storing it up. Check this I've out. Been storing it up for okay. this moment. All right, all right. Do you consent to this? I'm gonna try something. We're gonna see if this works. You do I consent? That's just like a really like yes. I'm gonna cast suggestion on ship. It would be a really good idea if you picked the ticket that was gonna win. <laughs> yeah, be a great idea. So that means we could buy one, and and maybe it would be the one, right? Like, following okay. your logic, it would be the same odds because okay. it's our destiny. You know, hey, it's all, it's this is all on chip now, but it is our destiny. Yes. You know what? I'm feeling lucky. No longer will I be struck stop, down stop, by the world stop, around stop. me. Stop! Stop! You're fucking it right now. You're fucking it. This is how you fuck you it, mean? man. What? What? This is how you fuck I it. Was, Listen, I know a thing or two destiny about destiny. Thing. You are currently weaving your own bullshit prophecy right now with you saying all this stuff. As soon as you start saying it's finally looking up, it's not gonna look up. Here's what you gotta talk about. Talk about how... Don't talk about anything. Just get I'm it. I'm leaving, yeah. Do, you know what? I... Do whatever you we want, We take one man. ticket. We take one ticket. We Are get you one sure? Fucking ticket. Are you really sure? Because this is like yes. all the Black Rose stuff. Okay. Right, okay. but like Chip had a revelation that like rich people also steal. So we can just steal it. So... You're not buying all me tickets. Oh, we did, Chip. We, Chip, we did promise we were going to buy all these We'll buy tickets. all your 10 gold ones to keep our end of the deal. That works. That's we only 500 this. gold, oh, right? Yeah, yeah, enough. You ask for one lottery ticket. So select five numbers in the range from 1 to 69. Joe. And then select <laughs> one number from the range 1 to 26, okay? Just select those numbers and write them down. And that see? is your okay. ticket. Here, let's all pick one, including you, Mr. Shopkeep, Seamart, Captain. Sure. But if we win. And then Chip, since you're buying it, and if we win, I guess you get a fifth of it. I'm going to pick one number and you guys do the rest, okay? Which number? Jay's glaring. 
<laughs> Come on, I'm like, pick a number. <laughs> I'm like, right, like rubbing my face and eyes and ears and mouth. And I'm just thinking, oh man. Seven. All right. Seven. That's a lucky number. 18. <sighs> Look at pretzel. As it holds up, like, both tentacles. And, like, the front tentacles. 11. Okay. <laughs> Ollie, technically uh, it's unethical to let you gamble, but... <laughs> 68. Good choice. Cutting it close, pal. All right, he writes, he, all right, yeah, he, write, he writes down 35. Okay, I'd choose 25 for the 1 to 26. Okay, you guys, your numbers? He hands you the little parchment with uh, it written on in ink. You put it I away? I it to shreds. <laughs> I, just, I just wrote it down, you're fine. Okay, because... Okay, we're not winning, guys. Let's just, like, there's no way. <laughs> And then you buy the 10 scratches off. We buy the scratch offs. Yay. Uh, just go ahead and roll a d20. Whoever's <sighs> scratching them off. Oh, can we, we all? Okay, wait. Off. Can we take turns? Can we take turns? This will be fun. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Busy, go ahead. Five. You don't win any money from that one. Twelve. You don't win any money from that one. Uh, Fourteen. All right. You don't win any money from that Fuck. one. Bizzly. <laughs> Bizzly. You get 10 gold from that one. Let's go! So 10 gold wow, back. you won your money back. Wait, we... Okay. Three. You don't win any money from that one. I guess I can't use perfect screw up. Uh. <laughs> 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 all right, that's, that's five down. Okay, all right, here yep. we go, here we go, here we go. Another fucking 14, dude. <laughs> ah, shit. Chip next up. Bizzly. You got six, you have seven, eight, nine, ten more. Or four, okay. four more. You have four left. You guys are just kind of like, uh, like very sporadically rubbing these off really fast together. Eight. Okay, you don't win any money for that one. A uh, ten. Okay, you win fifty gold back from that one. Yo, that's almost our money back. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on. All right, ready? Here we go, boys. What does a seventeen get me? <laughs> Nothing. Let's go. <laughs> 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 I'm so sorry, man. All right, Ollie, take the last one. Okay. He's so young and impressionable. If he wins the jackpot right now, he'd become a gambling addict, and that's what the industry wants. That's, that's what, what we Big need. Gamble wants. It's what Big Gamble wants. He'll count the okay. cards. He wins. He wins, just not the jackpot. It's what, uh, big, okay. it's what big Scratch wants. He gets uh, another 25 gold. Hey, so you, you guys know. get Let's 50, go! 25. I and 10. <laughs> oh, well, so, that's... Did we get our money back? No, we lost 15. Cool. I, I pick up <laughs> Ollie, and I'm, like, screaming, and I'm running around. I hold him up. I'm like, you won! I won! You won! I won! Woo! Woo! I'm, like, sprinting around. Yeah. We did it. We beat the system. So with all of that, you guys uh, get everything else that you need here at the Seamart. Nice. <laughs> I want to run him straight up to the tailors and then we get fitted out and then we motherfucking leave. Okay, we'll say for the full list of everything on uh, the list here, plus the non-perishable enchantment for grocery items for cooking, plus the healing potions that are 50 gold each, uh, plus the healing, all the other things, the treats, the alcohol, eh, probably about like 1,500 gold. Let's go. I buy like a half ounce of weed. I was thinking you throw it at someone and then cast burning hands. And then like <laughs> <laughs> can get people high if I just hold it and go. <sighs> yeah, we like we like get someone in a room and you like cooking burning hands and we just like shut the door or some shit, man. Okay, it'll probably be a uh, hundred gold total for everybody's outfit just based on the descriptions. That's okay. okay. You guys all go up. Uh, to get tailored and, and cleaned up. Yeah! So the seven of you, the entire Riptide crew, now leaving the Sea Mart completely decked out in new threads and new styles. Yo! Your ship gets unhooked from the very top, and it goes, boom, 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 splashes back into the ocean at the main dock here as you guys walk on to the ship. I don't suppose we can get, like, our ship a grill or anything, right? No. Okay. Not here. But if you'd like, you can, uh... Describe your new character's look if you guys want to do that in this episode. Yes. I will go first. Okay, so Chip went into the barbershop and got his hair longer. It is now sh shoulder length. <laughs> Damn. Um, and is, is somewhat Damn, like good, more bro. tame and like fluffed out. Fully uh, you can see like the earring poking out. 
between it. The barber shop took off a little bit of hair, and it's on his chin. And not really. He's just got like some chin stubble um, going this on man, over there. This man went to the barber shop. It was like a GTA Five. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, oh yeah. It. Just like it. Um, it's not like a lot. It's just like a tiny little bit coming in on the chin. Um, uh, yeah, he's still got the earring on top of his head. He's got like a red kind of pirate hat with like brown on the insides and some gold accents on it. He's got a pirate coat now. I wanted to give him a pirate coat. Oh, that's awesome. So the coat kind of matches the hat and it's mainly like red, but it's got like gold and silver and brown on it, like belts and buttons and all that kind of shit. I wasn't sure what kind of shirt to give him. So I didn't. I didn't give him a shirt. He's shirtless as a motherfucker. <laughs> you can see his flame <laughs> tattoos coming up his chest and up onto his neck. The coat just kind of cuts all the way down and doesn't exactly button closed, but at the uh, at the waist, there is like a brown sash around it. Got a whole bunch of belts and shit like that. All that rogue bullshit. He got knives and all that. Um, two short sword sheaths. Design is very cluttered overall with, with like belts and sheaths and excellent, things of excellent. that sort. His pants are, are black with little like, he's got like little gold trinkets coming off him, like little chains. You can see the scars from his time, from his, from his trauma. <laughs> <laughs> you just gave up proudly. trauma. I just gave up. I don't know. Bad stuff happened. He has scars now. Whatever. Yeah. Fuck it. That's what he looked like. That's awesome. Yeah, so uh, Jay comes out. She's wearing this sort of white cotton uh, square neckline top uh, who's that, which sleeves like, uh, reach down the shoulder just a little bit. They're very short. Um, and on her back, you can actually clearly see now the uh, the feather tattoo that she got while she was in Oldport the first time. And around her neck, she has a layered golden necklace that goes down and like it's just a double layered, basically, golden necklace. Um, going down, you see she has a leather, uh, below bust, brown leather corset, uh, that leads down to her old jacket, which is now tied around her waist, uh, which mm. underneath it has a little belt that is attached to a thigh pouch that is also wrapped around her left thigh. She has knee high, black leather knee highs, uh, that fit loosely around the upper calf with, uh, this sort of black cotton going up. Uh, and on her hand, she has these fingerless gloves that also kind of buckle around and reach up her wrist a little bit. Going up to her face, she's let all her hair down. She doesn't have the ponytail Yo, anymore. Oh, fuck! And her pin is still in the hair, but it's pushing her bangs off to the side so they don't cover her face at all. And that is Jay. Gillian walked into the salon <laughs> like a level one goon in a mobile ad. <laughs> And he is coming out as a level 999 mob boss. As he, he steps out. Do you know that scene in, in uh, Avatar where mm -hmm. um, Aang puts on like every possible piece of armor? He's like absolutely tripped out. Like every imaginable thing. <laughs> He's looking like, like a level 100 like free mobile MMO paladin right now. Just with these like ridiculous <laughs> fucking like shoulder pauldrons that making him actually 5'9". And as he starts to walk, he like wobbles over and shit's like falling off. You go, oh, fuck shit, go, no, no! <laughs> and, uh, and he tips over and he hits the ground and like half of this stuff falls off. And he gets <laughs> back up <laughs> and you see the helmet has come off of his head and his hair is now tied up in a man bun. Oh, oh my God. As he's speaking, he goes to flip it and then just, oh, right. Um, uh, pretzel <laughs> is out of her tank. Uh, she's chilling on his shoulder. Um, you see that he has uh, ditched that sort of shell-like uh, carapace armor he's had and is now opting for sort of a more traditional uh, sort of fantasy armor look. It's, it's like more spiked. The shoulder pads are like, you know, very exaggerated, that kind of thing. Not something you want to mess with. It's like blue, uh, black, and gold. It matches kind of the colors of Destiny's Blade. The gauntlets are sort of much larger and chunkier um, and have kind of a whirring energy in them. And that's sort of what the helping hands have become. You see Destiny's Blade um, has now like a side sheath basically attached to this armor. Um, 
this gold and black, uh, very pretty but fairly minimalistic uh, sheath. And he has worked the the pearl fragment, the Luxpress pearl fragment, is now sitting in the base, basically encrusted into that sword where that crescent moon symbol was. Now the pearl fragment kind of shimmers with those sandy colors. The only other flavor that I thought was really funny that Bisley said was he holds his hands up uh, so you can see the bottom of the helping hands and on the bottom almost looks like fucking like, sh- like <laughs> shower head spray nozzles. So he can just spray <laughs> water at people. Oh my God, he's wet Iron Man, dude. Um, That's so cool. He's fucking Iron Man basically now. Uh, you see creeping out um, sort of of this like neck piece, you can see some slight, almost reddish, like lightning scarring from when he and Chip were struck. Uh, and that is the new Gillian Tide Strider design. With those sick new Riptide Captain designs out of the way, I'm gonna quickly jump in and go through the updated outfits of their crew. Seamart's unique tailoring service is run by Mistress Natalie, one of this world's many fashionistas providing the coolest designs for any and all seafarers. Audio listeners, I hope this gives a good visual and video watchers please enjoy the concept art that will also be found on patreon.com slash just roll with it. Starting with the young boy they keep on the ship, the apprentice, Ollie. Ollie's brown hair has come to grow quite long and untamed, and he now has it braided on both sides, intertwined with two red streaks. He's wearing the eye patch he just got recently, flipping it up and down over his bright green eyes. His outfit is comfortable, but fit for a young pirate. A black wool shirt with Chip's old bandana tied around his arm, and the gold-plated leather belt of mountain giant strength wrapped around his waist. He's wearing a red fur-lined sleeveless vest, some dark striped pants, and brown leather boots. He's fucking adorable. Next up, the crew's southern sounding metal combatant and current fill-in helmsman, Alphonse. Alphonse originally was made of some brass metal, but has received a nice chrome plating all around with gold accents. His face has been molded to resemble a skull, but he still sports that black handlebar mustache under his glowing yellow eyes. He wears a small white cowboy hat with the Riptide Jolly Roger on the front, with goggles and gears resting on the brim. He wears a white collared shirt, a black striped vest, and a red bow tie with a clock as the brooch. The sleeves roll up to reveal black steel anchors affixed to both forearms, connected by a long chain that wraps around and through a leather harness around his chest. To finish it off, he's in some black leather chaps with a cog for a belt buckle, and tall chrome cowboy boots with cogs as the spurs. And if you look closely, you can see engraved on his forearm are the letters ALF, Dash zero in Z3. That stands for Alphonse, baby. The crew's second combatant, a cute and cuddly six foot eight monster hunter and ex bounty hunter, is none other than Griffin. Griffin's got some warrior braids in his swept back black and white hair. He's wearing an open chest black blazer with green accents and the Riptide Jolly Roger printed on the side. He wears a few wire necklaces lined in bullet casings as well as two crossed belts in the shape of an X with all of his specialized ammunition. This sins and another belt of bullets wrapped around the thigh over black cargo pants, ending in leather buckled combat boots. Over his shoulder is a forest green cape with a bit of fluff at the top, giving him the option to cover the massive six barrel gun that replaces his left arm. And last but not least, Dre Farron, a legendary pirate of decades past, has been cleaned up rejuvenated from his time in the block prison. He's wearing all black with a deep v-neck pirate shirt and a long pirate captain's coat with golden filigree and an accentuated collar. He's wearing this deep blue scarf that's pinned by his old Farron emblem, matching the same colored sash around his waist just below an oversized belt. Probably my favorite part is the custom-made arm slings and restrictors that function as both leather armor and a way to keep his arms from flopping all over the place. All right, that's everyone. Again, if you want to see all the art pieces of this, go to patreon.com slash just roll with it. It's almost midday here as you guys set back out to sea, setting a course for all important. You have pretty much the rest of today. Gather you'll be there tomorrow at some point. If there's anything you three would like to do. Hey, Alphonse, how's it going? You said you wanted to talk to me about something. Right, Captain. Uh, you see, I want to make this thing. And then he goes through and tells you about this basically. <laughs> uh, so you're telling me it's like gambling, but it's a cannon. A little bit, except where most of the effects should be pretty positive. Are there negative ones? 
Mm, I guess that's the nature of uh, messing with wild magic, yeah. Huh. Um, but it comes from uh, the old casino, the, the ship, so I figured if, uh, you know, now I can finally make use of it if uh, you want to make use of it. So, um, whenever you No, that's you're... cool as hell. Yeah, I'm gonna... I mean, I can try. Granted, every time I try to build something, Gillian comes along and breaks it. What's the guys talking about? <laughs> Roll the die! <laughs> Roll the dice, Jay. <laughs> yeah, let me try to throw this together quickly. <laughs> Lower than a ten, and God forbid what I'm about to do. This yeah. uh, this this project will probably take us a little bit of time. I mean, probably not a not a quick throw together. That's okay. Right I can wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you kind of like draft up like some ideas, sketch it out with Alphonse. He approves, mm -hmm. and then uh, after that, you sort of find Gillian and Chip and pull them together. So remember that whole thing where like I was an undercover Navy officer and then I like turned my back on that and then we're like and then like you know we and now we're cool and no, I'm a pirate. No, good for so, you. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. What? What about it? Well, what did? What? I mean, just where did you say that? That's all. Oh, I mean, this was like back when we were in the block, and I shot you, and then oh, I told Chip. That yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh my god, I, guys! Everything makes so much sense now. Wait, did you not know this? So when you said you were undercover, oh, yeah. I just oh. like. I mean, I thought I swear I told you, like. Oh, good for you, Jay. That's great. Yeah, I mean, this is like long past at this point. This is like two weeks ago. So basically, like a millennia. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just That's assuming crazy. two weeks, give or take. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Anyway, so I went up to the post office, and um, I sent my letter off, and and the lady, uh, saw my name. It was like, oh, I have a le I I have a letter for you. Uh, you say just like that. Yeah, something just like that. She was a very old lady, very sweet, and uh, she gave me this, and I pull out both the letter and the. On shell. Yeah, uh, same one that the Captain Monsoon had. White pearlescent cone shell. You can tell there's an enchantment on it more than just normal. And yeah, I let them read the letter. Do you want us to to be here for this? I yeah, Do I even call it? I mean, they probably wouldn't be expecting me to call until tomorrow. What do you want to do? I, I don't know. Um, I don't know. What my grandma knows, um, if she knows what happened at the block, or anything really. And also, I don't know what I'm going to tell her if she asks any questions about anything, like information-wise, like what I was supposed to be doing for my job. Because I don't have, uh, I'm not, a, I'm not like a great liar. <laughs> Wait, so they still think you're undercover? Maybe. I don't. I don't know what they think. But I mean, you're not. Like, you're not, right? I, I'm not undercover. No, I'm oh, like okay. a pirate. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you keep up this charade then that you're still undercover? Um, if that's not who you are, that's a really good question, Ashley. So I should just call him and be like, "Hey, I'm a pirate now. Bye." I mean, Jay, if, if this is really what you want to do, then I think you should you should own it. You should be proud of okay, it. Okay, but like, it's not that easy, okay? My sure family your family's is... very nice. I'm sure they'll be very accepting. No, they're very... They're anything like you. You haven't met my grandma. <laughs> I think I actually saw her earlier, but... You also... And she melted and ship was there. I mean, you've met my dad, too. You stabbed him in the chest, and he didn't even flinch. I know. And he took your sword. He has that still. He probably put it in a trophy case, knowing him. It's probably like... <laughs> Honestly, Jay, I've been operating under the... I really want him to come back and still have the sword in him. No, you don't understand. This happens to him all the time. People stab him in the chest, and he steals their swords, and he has a trophy case full of stolen swords from enemies who he's felled. He just has he just has <laughs> nabbly nipples. He just takes people's things with his fucking yes, tits. Yes, with his chest. When he gets stabbed in the chest, he takes their swords, and then he keeps them as, like, a keepsake. 
to remember okay. his battles. Why do people keep stabbing him in the chest then? God, that's what I did the first Have time you seen too. I stabbed him in the fucking chest. <laughs> you did it, exactly. Oh, that makes so that's much sense. That's how he sense. gets you. Most of his swords <laughs> are probably mine. Dustin used the blade, talks in your head. Yeah, I'd like to stab this man. <laughs> hey, you're, you're at where I'm at. I'm glad to see you're finally sort of decisive about something. Sword dad. <laughs> was that, what, what was that sound you just made? Okay, um... <clears throat> Then I'll call them, and if they ask any questions, I'll just be like, "Okay, bye," and tell them I'm pirate. And what? Uh, what? no, and no, 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 okay, bye. This could be. I mean, if it's gonna she really, looks, like, really nervous about this, like, <laughs> hey, um, like she hasn't like really openly defied her family ever in her life. Even the time in the block, it was because you guys basically uh, knocked away her father, and she ran. Jay, you're safe right now. We're here. If this thing's really gonna blow, this could be... Okay, but what if there's, like, tracking magic on the conch shell? Like, what if they find where we are and then arrest us and, and we all die and it's my fault? <laughs> then they'll show up and we'll kick some ass. <sighs> but, like, I could also just not call. I could just not call. <laughs> then don't call. Nobody's making you. I mean, I think you should call personally, but I, <laughs> you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going right, to make but you. But we're not pushing anybody into any decisions. No, but I just don't think you should call and lie. That's, that's all. I, I, I think that when you're ready, you should be honest about what you've decided. It should be something that you should feel comfortable. You know, even if it's hard, you need to, you need to own that. And then it's on, it's on them to accept you for who you are. You've already done that. The, the, the work is not on you. The work is on them. All you need to do is be yourself. But <laughs> it is perfectly reasonable for you to do whatever it is you feel best because you know your family better than anybody. You know what uh, tactics to use when talking to them and you're an adult who can make her own decisions about how to handle such situations. Yeah. <sighs> okay. If you want to lie, like, just lie. Like, I don't know. Who did lying ever hurt? I start building an ice arena. <laughs> no, okay. Loaded. Wrong question. Wrong question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Who did lying ever help? The person who people. lied? Yeah. There you go. That could be you. And then... Not them after that always has repercussions every time. Only the times you know about. Well, Jay, I wish you good luck. I gotta go. Jay, ship is bad and you should listen to me. <laughs> 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 okay, uh, uh, Jay kind of just like looks at the conch shell for. Yeah, like it probably feels like an eternity in her head, but it's probably more like 10 seconds. If you want us here, if you don't, that is okay. No, I think you... I need the moral support if you want to stay around. Okay, do you want me to be quiet or say anything? Or You, you can know, be quiet, I, can... I okay. think. I think being quiet is probably the play. Okay, I can hype man if you if you need me to hype man. Do you want, like, they can I mean, only cold. hype man if you think it's, like, really necessary and I'm, like, really, you know, um, spitting. Okay, you know me. I only take action when it's incredibly necessary, <laughs> not a second earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You got um, this. And I'm going to slowly raise the conch shell and make a call using it. You bring the conch shell up to your ear. And as soon as it touches your earlobe, you feel the connection that you hear on the other side. Jay, is that you, dear? Happy that you called early, earlier than I expected. Checking in on our secret unit of covert officers. Haven't heard from you in a while. Your presence disappeared for about two weeks. Thanks for calling. You're alone right now, yes? You know I'll be able to hear it if you're not. 
uh, um, uh, she lowers it. She, takes her, she starts like hyperventilating. <laughs> Gillian also starts hyperventilating because he realizes that like she has to lie for him to be here. But if she tells the truth, so he's just like also like starts to panic immediately. <laughs> this is instantly gonna ass. Jay, she pops into your head like oh like God. a little like a little fuck. devil on your shoulder. <laughs> You can always lie. <laughs> the panic takes you both instantaneously, and her voice basically freezes your spine. What are you guys doing? Not fucking saying anything. <laughs> Not yeah, fucking um, saying anything until she says what she says. Uh, um, um, uh, um, I'm, uh, I'm looking at Gillian. <laughs> like, giving her like a thumbs I, up. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Um, I, I am, um, I am, uh, 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 um. <laughs> Killian's like thumb is slowly going down into the middle position. He's looking more concerned. <laughs> is that a second breath I hear? He stops breathing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll start rolling con checks. Whatever it takes, I stop breathing. I don't exist. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, it, it, no, it's it's nothing. Um, just you're alive shit. and well. Where uh, where did you go for the two weeks? Oh, uh, we were. I was in the 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 the, um, the Fey, Fey Wild. Interesting. Very interesting. Cool place. You should go there. <laughs> <laughs> this crew that you found yourself in. You've been up to uh, a little bit of no good, as they would say. I mean, it's, it's, um, I, um, I would say, like, I, I, hush. <laughs> we've, like, <laughs> yeah, okay, she stopped talking instantly. Of course, they let it slide that you blew a hole into the headquarters. I heard about you breaking into one of our prisons, the top one. Coincidentally, your father is now missing his key, and my other son is missing from the prison. So, Jay. I yeah. What kind of information have you managed to squeeze out of Dre? Um, I assume that's your angle. Uh, uh, <laughs> I knew you were an intelligent granddaughter, but I didn't expect you to go this far. <laughs> Our other officers aren't doing nearly as well. She's just talking to her fucking self, man. We're just <laughs> making squeaky toy noises. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! That's okay, how she second. is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll something. Roll something. It's totally fine. Now you have a chance to respond. But she does. I rolled a natural one. Okay. This Bruh. is like to keep myself composed. I'm like, I'm just, I'm getting dumb. I'm... <laughs> Gillian's holding his breath. You can see Jay is like freaking out. It's silent for a moment. Is something wrong, Jay? <laughs> It looks like Jay just got shot. That's what it looks like to you, Gillian. I, I, I look at Jay in sort of a this might be your chance kind of look. She's like frozen. Yeah. <laughs> I, I rolled the natural one, man, for this. She she is not moving. I, I'm going to write down, do you want me to bail you out? <laughs> and then like pass it over to her. She like slowly like her head creaks up and down. Okay, okay, okay. Gillian runs off like around the corner and then says, Jay, Jay, where are you? We need to go do pirate things like not peeing our pants and maybe robbing, but only if they're bad. And like, it sounds like he's getting closer. You know what I mean? I have to go. <laughs> uh, I'm probably like still a little slow on it if she does say anything, if she gets some words in. Now, Jay, you know better than to call at a time where you can be interrupted. If I need to, I'll come see you myself. Don't worry about your father if you're still scared. You know how he gets emotional, but I've calmed him down. He shouldn't have been chasing you anymore. She like slowly lowers it and hangs up. <laughs> At this point, she doesn't say a word. I don't think she said a single legible word in that entire conversation. The conch shell, you lower it down, and it just kind of like crumbles into your hand. The magic what the hell are fades. you doing with my sister? Fuck! <laughs> shit! God damn it! Oh! 
I'd like to walk back conveniently at this moment. Oh man, did it did it go bad? What happened? I don't know. What 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 did happen? Honestly, I stopped breathing and uh, didn't really hear anything. I just saw um, um, the uh, the sort of tunnel vision and the uh, sides of my vision becoming black uh, until uh, the voice went away and then I started breathing again. Um, I I couldn't do it. Um. Uh, my my mind it, it raced with all the things I could say of all the things I wanted to say, but but the second I heard her voice, I I couldn't say any of it. Yeah, I feel that. She so you she's kind of choking up a little bit. No, I I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. You mean like nothing, like no words. No, nothing. I. Just panicked. I panicked. Oh, and- shit. <laughs> Who is this person? Hey, relax. It's fine. We'll get him next time. Well, and look like there's going to be a next time with this. And I brush that sand off. There's like little like chunks of the shell. Yeah. Get it out of there. She's kind of like she bites her lip a little bit. She she looks a little fucked up right now. Um. Um. Hey, how about we, uh, play a game or go make some food or do something? Come up with a new scheme. Hmm? I, um, I think I just need to, to lay down for a bit. You're strong, Jay. Stronger than than both of us. I mean, you shot our asses, and then we died. So, I I have no doubt in my mind that you will be able to do this. But it's it's okay if now is not the time. It's okay to to be scared. I mean, I, I get it. She's a. She'd make a great elder. <laughs> the important thing is that you're here. Um, Jay kind of stops in her tracks and it almost looks like she, she wants to say something. To kind of like refute you. Um, and she's about to turn around, but it, like, she keeps walking. No! 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 What? You look like you were about to say something. I'm sick of this shit. It happens all the fucking time on this shit. Yeah, just fucking let her walk off dramatically, man. Goddamn. I know. She doesn't want to talk about it right now. I can't do it. I can't do it. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Okay. If it was important, this is shit. If it was, if it was, if it was that pressing, she would have said it. I'm gonna teach you another lesson called patience. So just shut the fuck up and wait. I think you you can probably get a pretty good insight into our mind if you, if you wanted to roll for I'll it. I'll roll for <laughs> it. I got a 16. And in her mind, you hear slightly monologued over as, as you're screaming at her. Okay. <laughs> your, her fo- your face overlays on the screen in front of you. But what's it going to matter if I can't stand up for you when I see my family? It's written, all over face. Face. <laughs> yeah. it's written all over her yeah, face. It's written all over her face. Yeah, that, that exact sentence. And then I put a hand out. I put a hand out in front of Chip. Let her go, Chip. <laughs> I just like look. It's like a silent moment we where I look down anything. at the hand on my chest and I just look up at him. Let her go. You see a single like, te- like tears welling up in my eyes. So hard to watch them walk away, isn't it, Gil? There's going to be a situation where she's going to face off against her family and if things go like they did with the block or even with the fucking phone call for god's sake you know what is she supposed yeah. to do um jay does literally go kind of like just be alone for a bit with herself uh probably cries a little bit uh she's probably just stowed away in 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 the quarters for i'm gonna say two hours at least well you do that i mean you know that it's not a good thing that you didn't say anything. 
Uh, yeah, I, I'm, she's very well aware, and she's also very well aware of the danger that they're all in now, because uh, if Grandma comes in and gives us a little visit, <laughs> let's just say she's not bringing cookies. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I guess if Jay's in her quarters, I, I will want to go talk to Chip. I'll post up next to him. How do you think we can help? Huh? Oh, uh, she just fucking snuck up on me, man. No way he did. That, that, He's so that's loud. A yes! I'm learning! <laughs> Yay! I did it! Look at me go! You're sneaky! I don't know how. I didn't hear you. Um, what, <laughs> wait, what are we talking about? Uh, shit! You really didn't hear me? Fuck! Uh, Jay! No, you said something. You said you want to uh, help. I, I do. I, I want to help her somehow, but I don't. I feel like... You want to help Jay? Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't know how. I mean, you suggested Gotta, a surprise I'm here party. with you. We're in this moment. I okay. Get all right. I have no idea. I put my hands on his shoulders. Okay, great. I am not good at consoling other people or handling complex emotion. Well, what would you want to do with your family that you were like a spy and you weren't a spy and your family had like trained you to, to, to do this whole thing and you, and you know, you were having trouble expressing yourself to them. What would you do? What would I do if I had a family? That's already hard enough. Uh -oh. Um, <laughs> and they made me a spy. I'm a spy, so I'm a spy. Yes, for the Navy. So that'd be Dad. pretty cool. I'd like to be a spy. Okay. It's um, like, hmm. Sneaking? No, okay. But she does. Yeah, okay, but you'd be. like to be a spy for a bit, and then you met uh, and then one and, and then two. Really, I'm a double agent. So you're I'm a double, double agent. For a little bit, and then I have no allegiance comes. to anybody. Yep. Except for the new people, but then I might turn on them. Because, like, nope. I'm a double agent. I just, yep. my thing. Yeah, but then you don't because then you decide that you're with the new people now and okay. not the old people. I think I just need to say it, you know, to them. Make my position known, right? Right, but you couldn't. That, I don't know. I think all we can do, Gil, you know, jokes aside, is, is just be there, man. I was... You know, trying to be funny, but this is a battle only she can fight. You know that, right? We can't fight this one for her. We can't, you know, put the words in her mouth and make her say them. You just be there. Talk it out when she needs it. She's very strong and independent. What about the rest of the time, though? Just... Keep me in that rock. Doesn't seem like she's always had support. Let's just give her that. She'll figure it out. She's... She's way smarter than, like, both of us combined, like, times ten. <laughs> You're right. If she I... can't figure this out, no one can figure this out. You You're know? right. I, I... She probably already has. And... We just gotta be... We just gotta be the rock. Come here. And I uh, cast Minor Illusion. And, uh, All right, let's do this. Then we become the rock. We become a rock. <laughs> 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 Full this circle. Nice. Full circle. This is a good callback to that bit. Ending, ending where we started. You'd love to see it. Man, I wish, it you were, I wish you were there for that bit. So about the whole grandma thing, and then I go on for the next like. Holy shit, my fucking grandpa! And I run downstairs <laughs> <laughs> where he's been in a tub for two days. <laughs> oh my god, that's right. <laughs> good, good talk. Good talk. Hey Ollie, come find me. I'm not a rock. Ollie and Griffin are still fishing. He goes, Shh, shut up. You're gonna scare them away. Are you fishing? And at this point, as um, he's sort of like fishing, he starts to like get yanked forward and Griffin goes, no, must have caught a big one. Oh my God, I can't, I can't get it up. Holy shit. Uh, uh, 
And at this point, like you guys notice that time has passed quite a bit and it's sunset. And he's like like standing on the rail and like holding it back. And he goes, ah, shit! Ah! He's got the fucking mountain giant belt. <laughs> Jesus. Oh fuck, that's a big one, big one. <laughs> that's a big one. And as he like sort of like pulls up and falls it falls over. Uh you then hear Hello? Ollie, what kind of fish did you catch? <laughs> I get up and I walk over. I'm still a rock. <gasps> I recognize this ship. Hello? Hello? And, uh... The rock says. <laughs> Ollie, you help Ollie up and you look over the railing. And you see... Aslana. Oh, Aslana, my God, yes! Is. Coming up, breaking the surface next to her... Oh, God. ...is another mermaid... Another much more mature, older looking one who resembles Aslan in some way. And she's actually holding the hook, the line. She just kind of lets it go and she smiles. And Aslan starts to wave out at you, Chip, as you look over. Oh my God, hey, hey. And Dude, I'm so see. sad that I'm, I'm so sad that I'm depressed for this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Aslan, what's up? I, I, you're... She looks at your neck. You're still wearing it. Oh, oh my god! Yeah. I, it's so great to see you. Where's the where are the others? Oh, this um, is emotional god, this turmoil. Is... What? Don't worry about it. It's good to see you. Do you wanna? We gotta. All our tubs are filled up, but we can like I can find like a barrel. You want a barrel? Is someone is something wrong? Kind of, yes. Who's always. Hurt? Um. Can you? How about we just? I'll go Where's get a Gillian? barrel. I'll get a barrel. I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna get a barrel. She's just like, like, kind of speechless and excited. And um, the older one smiles and nods. And then at that moment, you hear, "No, it's okay. I don't. I don't need a barrel." Do you need two barrels, or can you both fit in one? <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna get two barrels. And if we only need one, we'll leave the other. You hear, you hear <laughs> like a splash, and then you watch as she sort of like leaps up, uh, shoots up out of the water, and then does this sort of like twirl, and then lands right in front of you on human legs. And then she goes, ta-da! Really quickly, I'd love it if I did not witness this. I ran away. She said ta-da, and I was not there. <laughs> and then... <laughs> Uh, like a minute and a half passes by and I walk out with two barrels dragging them. All right, I got two barrels. Let's just... No, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gotten so much stronger. Um, uh, um, this is my mother. I found my mother. Whoa, hey, uh, as Aslana's mother and Aslana's legs. <laughs> All right. You guys, good to meet you. I'm Chip. Chibo. Uh, bastard. It's Whatever okay if like. she comes on the ship. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, and uh, yeah, her, her mom sort of like swims up. Alana takes her hand, pulls her up. She gets in like the little barrel, I guess. Okay. So as this is happening on the top deck, Jay, uh, you're currently sitting on your, you know, your bed and, and Gillian runs down. You'd see that that Peepaw Tide Strider is still hung shoo me me Okay. Mm-hmm. Seems okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm just checking him. Okay. I look over at Jay. Sorry, just forgot. I'm just need to check. I'm just okay. Okay. Right. Bye bye. And both of you hear this like sort of commotion out up up top now. As soon as you run down there, I'm gonna bring you some snacks in a little bit. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You just keep killing it, champ. Um. <laughs> she turns over her bed. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then I'll slowly back out. And you, you come up on the top deck here. You'd probably get a, a look and see this old friend of yours, Aslana, standing on two legs near the railing as she's sort of uh, hugging Chip at the moment. As like Lana, forcefully. There's some even kind if Chip of says no. Parasite attached to your waist! <laughs> My God! <laughs> 
You shout out, she looks over, she goes, <gasps> and then she starts to run up really fast. You go, dum, 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 as she starts to like, oh, all right, all right, I, I also start running at her, you. except it's terrifying because I'm in full armor. <laughs> then I just boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Pretzel, who's on your shoulder, <sighs> leaps off in front of you first. And the two of them, like, she like catches Pretzel and they start to spin and she just like completely passes by you. <laughs> as you like run by her. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> just Pretzel. Pretzel! Hi, Gillian! Oh, hi! <laughs> uh, and as for what you guys see right now, uh, she's gone under this sort of transformation whenever she leaped onto your ship, mm -hmm. where she has this, uh, like, sepia-colored skin. She still has the turquoise braided hair, but she's, uh, 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 her legs, they're, they're human, and they have, like, these blue ribbons uh, wrapped mm -hmm. around them, and she has, like, some the, the same kind of translucent cloth that was her top in the water. It sort of extends down, wraps around the wrist, and flows behind her. So as they are like running at each other, her mom is like in the barrel, right? Like near me, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to just like look over and go, so you're Aslan's mom. And I am. And I assume you're friends. I've heard a little bit. Yeah, yeah, we've, uh, we, we're friends. So you're, if you're oh, her mom, good. then that's good. how did you, I mean, like, how does she, like, where did, <laughs> like, how do you get, never mind. I let it go. I drop it. I don't say anything else. I just, I'm, I'm trying to ask, like, how do you give birth as a mermaid? Because, like, it's, you got, and then I just stop because I don't want to know. She, she sort of, uh, well, maybe you'll find out someday. What? <laughs> <laughs> like, my eyes widen. <laughs> I stand there and stare at Gilly. What? <laughs> so she, she rushes up. She also hugs your armor. I mean, it's really bulky, but she goes, okay, where's Shay? I mean, how have you all been? I mean, what have you been up to? Uh, Why are you even we've here? Been, we've been 99% good, but right now, Jay is in the 1%. So <laughs> she she's going to come up when she's ready, but it's so good to see you again. Where is she? Tell me where she is. Oh, be the rock. Be the rock. Okay, okay, are you sure? I make the rock face at him. She starts to look around. She, like, lifts up crates. Oh, she shouts man. out, Jay? Jay? Maybe this would make her feel better, Chip. <laughs> oh, she's downstairs. She, she's, she's downstairs. She starts, to, she starts to lift up. She's really tired, but she's downstairs. Okay, she, like, rushes down, and then you hear and then see the steps, dun, 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 and then you see someone who doesn't look quite like how they did when you met them, but still very familiar in the face. You see Aslana, she looks at you, and she can she sees, like, this sort of, like, sorrow on your face as you're sitting there. My eyes are bloodshot from crying. But then you're like, <laughs> she didn't say a word. She uh, rushes, like, leaps it, off the steps. She just Jay, jumps. Can and, like, Aslana come in? <laughs> She's like, already. Basically, Tackle hugs you while you're sitting there. <laughs> And it's just this, this really tight, like, you know, it's like a friendly hug. Mm -hmm. It's a good feeling. It's comfy. It's cozy. What are you doing down here? Um, uh. Why are you crying? What do they do? I'm crying. I'm crying. And it wasn't, they didn't do anything. Oh, God. What are you, what are you, no, wait, what are you doing down here? What? She's like trying to wipe tears from her eyes and get composed. She's like, you're all still wearing your necklaces, yeah? I'm still wearing the necklaces. Yeah, we're all yeah. wearing the necklaces. I'm not attuned to mine, but I never took it off. I would not. As she grabs the little orb on your uh, uh, dangling from yours and she goes, she just inspects it. I need to redo this. The wire wrapping is... You've been through some stuff, huh? I can <laughs> see. Uh, um... A lot has happened since we've been on the Isle of Iron. I bet. Yeah. I mean, a lot has happened for I mean, me. What are, yeah, what are you doing? We're in the North Sea right now, right? North Sea? Yeah. Yeah, the Viridus Sea. We're in the Viridus. This is an entirely different sea from where we were. And what are you doing here? Well, She's kind of calmed down a little bit or like... That should wait. You, know. you should come up. I, I met my mother. I found her, she was, because she found me, and, uh, come on, you should just, uh, let's stand up and, and go back up there. There's no reason to be alone right now, especially when you don't feel good. Okay. That's the um, worst time for you to be alone. Sir, can you, I'll be up in a second, can you give me a minute? Sure. I promise I'll come up, okay? Yeah? She stands up, she just looks at you. <laughs> Big smile. <laughs> just sort of like swinging hips back and forth. 
I mean, like, uh, uh okay, fine, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, she leads you up. You guys uh, see she gets Jay out of the cave. <laughs> <laughs> out of the cavern. <laughs> this is my mom. I'm standing next to her mom, wide eyed. <laughs> it is so nice to meet you. Your daughter is absolutely wonderful. What is your name? Ashling. Ashling? Well, it's very nice to finally meet you. Tisdale, by chance? Tisdale? <laughs> I've got a friend looking for someone. Ashling Tisdale. <laughs> Out of ship. It's Fishdale. There's no fucking way that's your name. Look me, look me in the eyes. Look me in the eyes. I get, I get on her level. I don't even care about the awkward encounter we just had. I need to know right now. I'm gonna roll <laughs> insight, and you're gonna tell me that again. Um, six. You got a six, dude. You can't tell if she's mind. serious or not. I'm trying to figure out if you're serious or not. I'm gonna discern it any minute now. I can tell. You're looking this, you're looking to the left, and that, yeah, I have no idea. I can't tell what's real anymore. I get up and I start pacing around. <laughs> she, she chuckles. Good to meet a fellow lib, lib up, fist bumper. My name's <laughs> Gil, don't say lib up. <laughs> oh, I always live up to expectations. My name's Gillian Tidestrider, just chilling. And uh, this is Chip over here. I've a little bit here. about you. Oh, wonderful. Fishdale. Fishdale. That's Chip, and that's uh, Jay Every time over you guys there. say it, she chuckles. Wiping the tears out of her eyes. <laughs> it's uh, really nice to meet you. Asana says, no, that's, her name isn't Fishdale. <laughs> Why would you lie? <laughs> I knew it! My mom is a queen. He's a what? A queen. Slay. Yeah, we've got bigger <laughs> problems. I go up to Aslana. Your mom wants me. <laughs> no, no I don't think she meant it like that. I just it's, it is just as awkward in silence as it just was just now. Um well oh. that's cool. So Aslana, you are like a princess then? I I guess so. Um pretty sick. I mean, that probably comes with a lot of responsibilities though, so good luck with everything uh, it Sounds like a lot. Yeah, um, I don't, I mean, we were just heading, uh, I just want to know, like, can we just, like, I don't know, hang out for a minute and talk about and catch up? Because, yeah, there's a lot. There's definitely a lot. And I want to hear about oh, what's been a lot for you, and then I can tell you what's been a lot for me. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's cool. So, wait, you, you never met your mom before? What are you, what are your sisters doing, actually? My sisters are still at the, uh, the the Desire Island. Oh, so you didn't know your mom, and then you just like she. You, then you did. Well, um. <laughs> you can do that. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Whenever you left and you invited me to be on your crew, I I didn't uh -huh. want to go because I wanted to help my sisters. But of course, I've right. always wanted to see the world, so I did kind of want to go, but uh, I didn't. I didn't know what to do, so I stayed behind and I helped them for a little bit, and yes. it's it's doing well. I mean, it's definitely stable and, and a lot more of Desire Island of how it used to be. But um, the mom guess, thing. Well, uh, right, right, right. Well, uh, Maria told me that if I wanted to go, I should go. Just one day, she just looked at me, she said, you know, you want to go? We can hold it here. And so I left by myself, swam a while, and then I just so happened to run in to my mom, who I didn't know was my mom until she told me. So you just ran into her? I guess so. <laughs> well, fuck, I'm not going to do that. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's awesome for you, though. Cool, now you got like a mom and stuff. Well, uh, her mom speaks up. I, I mean, it's not that simple. I I guess I was always kind of trying to find... Oh, the story's so long, but... um, I knew she was with her father for a long time, and then... At a certain point, I knew it was time to find her. Because the... um, Well, we were heading to the capital of the undersea, because... 
they seek a meeting with the different kingdoms. Of course, mine is a particularly large one in the Southern Sea. Right. What do you, uh, what are they? Oh, the southern, mean, I guess the southern part of the Undersea. Like, uh, what is this, what's sort of, the uh, topic of discussion? I, I am unaware. So you left for like, you left your, your daughter? Did you just, so like, what, what, I don't just, just out of curiosity, like, what leads <laughs> you to do something like that? Was it like on accident or did you not love her? Or like, <laughs> what, <sighs> what leads someone to do that? I guess is just like out of like just off the top of my head, and then the undersea thing too. After that, after you answer my thing, Hazana says, "Well, I mean, our father told us when we were really young that our mothers were very important and very busy, and so he was the one who got to take care of us the most." Sometimes you just gotta turn in your child to the government, man. I don't, I don't understand. So what's so hard to understand? <laughs> no, that makes <laughs> sense. Sure. Okay. Just our mom goes. I guess Queen Ashlyn was her name. She goes, it's a very long story. Are you sure you want to hear the, the... I mean, I've always loved her. Okay. Okay. But did you show that? Did you like act that way? Like, or did you leave because... Never, this is getting... Just tell Gillian it's about the undersea personal thing. questions. Let's do the undersea. <laughs> let's do the undersea thing. I'm just like... You just like my, got me thinking. My head Sorry, is like, guys. My I'm... eyes are like slowly moving over to Chip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. She just basically so said. Worried. She just said that she's unaware. I mean, like you get the gist that uh, she sort of explains it that they were on their way to the capital because Aslana is a princess, uh, apparently, mm. and as the queen and the princess, she wanted to take Aslana to the capital because different rulers in the undersea who have larger kingdoms outside of the capital mm -hmm. were being invited for some sort of council. Um, but the topic wasn't disclosed. Mm -hmm. And it seemed important. But you also get a little bit more of the explanation that her mother has been like dealing with a, a, a internal societal conflict in her own kingdom for a long time. And it's been sort of put on pause when she went out searching for her daughter, and then when she found her daughter, they headed to the capital. They just kind of like, by chance. Gillian, that's what you get. Yeah, I mean, what's the rest of your life story? <laughs> I stopped talking. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. I dug myself in a hole. Um, oh, we don't have to get. We don't have to get into that. She well, says, if if you if you need safe passage or even just a place to stay or 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 rest, um, our ship is more than open to you both. I'm just. I just want to hear about what you've been up to and I don't know s spend some time together because and she like sort of twirls around I I'm not stuck in the water I remember when I first got my legs good for you <laughs> <laughs> she looks at her mom I thought I was special <laughs> you told me I was special I got my legs when I was born <laughs> <laughs> um and I guess I tell her I catch her up on everything right on and then Jay was the imposter the entire time. And I just found out. But Jay it's cool. looks <laughs> devastated <laughs> by this conversation but, that you but, decided but, but to she skip into. Was <laughs> heroic and noble, and, and still other. trying to figure out how to tell her family, which is the big but, thing right now. But but she's she's her own person, and she's strong and an individual. And other positive adjectives. It's a weird thing to say. <laughs> Telling uh, the tales of your adventure takes quite a bit. I mean, the sun sort of sets. You guys sit around um, and introduce your crew and all kinds of stuff and just uh, talk it out. I mean, it's a little bit more... It's definitely better than sulking for you, Jay, even though you go yeah. over it a little bit. It's like the, she cracks the odd smile and stuff at some... Every once in a while memories. breaks the moodiness yeah. for sure, yeah. Yeah. Um, you guys have like drinks that you bought at the Seymour and all kinds of stuff. It feels like a nice little relaxing time. Mm -hmm. And um, of course, if you, if you ask anything, I'll tell you what you get. But other than that, I mean, I want to try and cheer. I want to try and make Jay laugh because I think I see her crack a smile. So what if Chip and I tried <laughs> to make like a what if we tried to like make a bomb? Like, like <laughs> God, <laughs> yes. I don't know why you got that from, but sure. Dude, what the hell? Okay. <laughs> what you know the what fuck? I mean? We like, make a bomb. Oh, man, you're tinkering all the time. Why don't we tinker? And then we like make a bomb. 
I put weed in the bomb. I bought weed at the Sea Mart. I put weed in it. Oh my oh, god. No. I throw it I throw it into the fire. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Um I do wanna if she does want to sit down for a little bit and like fix my necklace, that would be awesome. Because she did say she needed to fix it up. Yeah, she's sort of doing um, it as you guys are telling her the stories that you've gone through mm-hmm. at the moment. And uh, the night sort of comes to a close here and her, her mother slinks back over the railing. And Azana looks as if she's, you know, going to leave, but she looks at all of you and she says, I'm really, just really happy I got to see you all again. And, um... Maybe after this, I can find you again. We are already leaving? Wait, we are gonna stay. What do you mean? Well, like, where are you going? Like, you can, we could probably, like, take you there, or at least part yeah, of the way. sail you there a lot faster than you can swim. Oh no, we're going under the water. She's got a good point. So why do you guys make a bomb out of weed? I don't know, we just, like, wanted... <laughs> Never mind. You mean the womb? We'll talk about the this already. Later. The wom. Okay. <laughs> Good luck with your wom. <laughs> Good luck with your mom. Like sh- <laughs> <laughs> We're in like a weird place right now, but it's like really, it was good our, to see our, you our, our bits have been getting a little more desperate and surreal um, because <laughs> yeah, of, sort yeah. of the dire circumstances. But hey, uh, as Solana, I mean, um, do you have one of these by chance? And I and I, I guess I hold up the, the oh, I'm glad shell. you brought it up because I was going to bring it up. And one that preferably uh, doesn't explode or require quarters. Oh, uh, my mom has one of those. Can I get your mom's number? <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, you cut you a tune. In a platonic way. <laughs> Nobody here is going to call with any <laughs> interests. I'm certainly not. Beyond just friendship. You're making it weird. I do that. So after I finish accompanying uh, my mom, I-, I would love to meet up again. Yeah, you're welcome on our ship anytime. I'd love to meet up with you and your mom, or just you too, at times. <laughs> ship, I'm shut gonna go. the fuck your mouth, gonna, dude. I'll see you guys. It was good Bro. to see you. It was really good to see I'm gonna go. Oh. I walk away. Oh, um, fuck. Oh, the womb uh, is hitting. Uh, <laughs> As only can tell, you're still kind of struggling, Jay. So she sort of rushes up yeah. before she hops off, and she says, "You guys are changing lives. If I didn't meet you, I would not be." She like lifts one of her legs up. I would never. I would literally not be walking. So. Just believe in yourself, all right? Um, Jay is silent for a moment, but she kind of cracks a little smile. She says, thank you. Um, I think I'll get there eventually. It's family stuff, you know? You're welcome on our ship anytime, Islana. It's always a joy to have you around. I'm I'm still getting used to family too, and you can see she's already like five, four. She's pretty short, but she's like shrinking mm-hmm. as you're talking. And then you mm-hmm. notice after speaking, she's just on the ground with her tail. She's like, okay, well I've run out of time, so I guess I'll be going. And then she just like <laughs> like like slithers <laughs> over. Holly, could you maybe help her? Yeah. Whoosh. <laughs> <laughs> It's been a long day. Without you, my, you my friend. friend. Tell you all about it. When I, I, I poke up my head. Are they gone? She's like, uh, she's like, she's like, oh hi. I, I remember you. You were a prisoner. And just gets like, all right. So I finally kid. got my revenge. That'd be the scariest <laughs> shit ever. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> she's Quick, she's gone. Quick little Man. blurb. Oh, I wish Wait, that, that one off, guys. What are you talking no, about? No, you didn't. You did not. Hey, so Chip, what the fuck was going on there, man? It was like a, it was you... like a. It's like her, the mom like came on to me. It was like really weird. No, and then, she or didn't. Maybe like, she did. wrong? You only said your name to her. Like, so bar- you like introduced I, yourself, kind I of, asked, and then didn't speak to I her for the rest of the night. Under- I guess I just didn't understand like. 
where I don't think anybody mermaid caught it. babies come from? <laughs> and I don't think anybody caught it, but like you were trying to explain it away and Jay, Jay kind of did a little like <laughs> like she laughed a little bit. <gasps> we need to make just, another bomb. You are <laughs> such an idiot. I just don't know where the babies come from. Like, how do you do that? It's a damn. Oh, <laughs> yes, it's, Chip, you are stupid. They, Stupid, <laughs> stupid man. Okay, then where did they come from, Gil? <laughs> um. <laughs> right. Okay. So I asked her that, and I'm like, "How? Do, where do you? How do you?" And she said, "Maybe one day you'll find out." She wants babies with me. She wants them. That's just not what that means. I took. Okay, but I took it that way in the moment. Nobody it, wants to have sex it, with it, you, Chip. It got awkward. Is all I'm trying to say, and I didn't know. <laughs> How to, hey, that's hurtful, by the way. And now I lost my train of thought. Whatever. Chip. Why are you put my mean? hand on his shoulder? That from you? <laughs> I'm nice to you. Mermaids lay eggs, I'm pretty sure. What? <laughs> There's there is no sex involved in Chip, you didn't you didn't touch her, right? I mean like I put my like my hand like it was on her what kind of how does how does one get eggs? I like, how does she I walk by Chip and I put my work? hand on his stomach and I Who's nod and I say, see you soon. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? This isn't funny. <laughs> okay, unless this? you guys see otherwise, you'll be going to bed now and long. This is not funny. So okay. uh, is there anything else yeah. you guys would like to do for the night? Sure. Uh, for babies. Uh, it's super late. You spend a lot of time. No, I try to make Jay laugh at Chip's immense expense. <laughs> yeah, no, you get me a few times. Let's go. Panic. <laughs> All right. I'm going to be a dad. <laughs> so, <laughs> As I walk you to bed. All I head yeah, if you make to it. long rest, knowing that in the morning, sometime the next day, you'll be back at Allport for a quick wow. little stop there wow, before wow, wow. heading back to zero. Just going back to lots of places, huh? That uh -huh. we're revisiting things. Is where we're gonna get in the session. Nobody gets stabbed in the night or anything like that. That's Whoa. it. That's where we're gonna stabbings. That's crazy. And no one wants to There's... no one gets stabbed, no one duels anyone, none of that. Like I, we can actually long rest or like Yeah, you yeah. like long rest. No, long dude. Rest. Instead of taking and lives, now we're join creating us next new episode ones. when we all get arrested. And I have a probably. baby and I have babies and, and, many. <laughs> and chip I chip eggs. delivers. Making it two out of the three of us having give, given live birth on this podcast. Let's go. I just, just ticking the boxes, I just baby. I just don't think it's appropriate for me to do that. You're you're right, and I respect <laughs> that. But Chip can. That's fun. Yo, everyone. Usually I come in here as a different NPC or character and thank all the patrons, but today I want to share something with you guys. Lately, I've been in this deep pit of hell, this world-building abyss never ending and lately in this quest for more riptide lore i've been taking different D, &D monster stat blocks like from the bestiaries and turning them into pirate captains why have i been doing that well i guess you'll find out but as a thank you for making it to the end of the episode I want to share one with you. This is Captain Luck of the Luscious Lock Pirates, based on the monster stat block Cord. Captain Luck is an earth genasi made of dark gray stone and uses their hair to, to fight like the Cord do. I won't tell you much more about them, but you can see where I'm going with this idea, and I hope you enjoy it and, and look forward to it in the future. Without further ado though, it's time to thank our $50 high roller to your patrons, so let's get to it. Big shouts and a thank you to Sarazaku. I don't know if I said that right, I can't believe this is the first name you got me reading. I've already fucked it up. Well, we're in too deep, and I'm trying to thank the rest of the patrons. Okay, uh, Charlie Darling Songbird, thanks so much. Eclipse 1680 Gaming, Bazo Ozo, oh, man, why, guys, I can't, Bazozo, there we all got it. Seth Cakes 223, Bloke Fieri, Future Oracle, Cadis Betis, Leftover Rice, May, Turtwig with an upside down face i think that's an upside down face it looks like an emoticon that's like has their mouth way open way too far but it's upside down anyways you will rue the day thank you please don't hurt me a farmer gamer jonathan bleak luke ronbu bebenus dapper percy hollow headed a moon beast fan Bree Lee, daxi boy vapor Oh, Kerberos, 
um, butt flusting, agar steel jaw, beans, Walfi, the big grumpy void, jades2604, lol, jades, <laughs> joey madness, pippin the alchemist, sweet cacti, baka7, cows the folded pizza zone, the awesome man, fly guy, I see Sharky, man made imp, your personal jester, Jordan Dorlin, I am in your walls, Red Sus over Paradise, Mr. Nacho, Wild James, Kev Simpai, I have died, now I am dead, Mitchell Iverson, Mithril Gear 417, and Bosco on to page two, thank you all so fucking much, Elysian Paramore, Grand Archer, Narwhal Shellfish, Riker's Stiz Tiz in. <laughs> sorry, it's probably just Riker's in with a T in the middle. I'm sorry, Riker. Crobin's Deathclaw, Sandy 007, ba -ba -ba -da. Da -da -da -da. Cheshire, Blue Blin Blop, Alexio, Alex, Alexio, Alex, Alexio, Alex, I'm sorry. Azerberus, Elvish Cyborg, Lord Ticklefish, Spin Yaks, Buttery Toast, Teddy Love Bites, Gillian's Biggest Fan, Gornier Comet, Sorcerer Punk, Riker Kurotu. Yeah, Riker, I, I know that Bisley always comes in here at the end and says your name and says that he wants to meet you. I, I don't know why he doesn't recognize that. It's Japanese, isn't it? it? Better be. Well, anyways, he's a weirdo. Sorry about that. He means well. Nonzalotl. Funny Hats Incorporated, JRWI Enjoyer, and J. Noel. Thank you all so much. If you didn't hear your name, but you are paying $50, make sure you go on Patreon and select the $50 high roller tier, so I'll see you when I filter it. And thank you all so, so much for the support. We have just released new patron goals. Uh, I'm going to tell you them right now. We have decided to make the webcomic and the animatic something we're going to do no matter what and work on it on the side. And instead, at 6,000 patrons, Slimesicle, Charlie Slimesicle, is gonna run a vampire mini campaign. I'm gonna be uh, playing someone named Mr. Bennett. And uh, at 9,000 patrons, we're gonna be rebooting and running a new story in the Just Roll With It Convergence universe, probably bringing back some old characters. So it's a dimension hopping D&D adventure that I am very, very excited to do again. And I hope you guys all enjoy once we hit those goals and get to it. Well, thank you all. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.